tournament poker players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Card House Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event, the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty, and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. Well, what's going on, everybody? It's TCH Live, and it is Tuesday. And you know what that means. It's time for some uh, 2, 5, 10. Uh, excuse me. It's 5, 10 and a quarter. No Limit Texas Hold'em coming at you here out of the fine state of Texas. Dallas, to be specific, I am Aaron McAvoy hanging out with you down here in the Austin area, but tuning in with you guys uh, out of the Dallas area. We've got Eric Van Lusen. What's going on, my man? What's going on, Aaron? I uh, hope you can all hear right. me all right. I seem to be having a problem with my headset, so I'm going to try to get this sorted out as I cannot hear anything. But... Uh, Eric, I'm going to go ahead and leave you to uh, sort of lead the show as I try to get things sorted out. Sounds good. We're going to start the uh, night off with a PLO flip. Should have a fun night tonight. Got a 5-10-25 game uh, Jack, tonight, I I so Jack, should be a fun one. Yes. Oh, top boat. I, I got a uh, boat. <laughs> he said yes. He got a boat already. He's got the uh, Got Jay Nick Jack's dealing in the box good. tonight. We'll Can anybody, let that everybody that know who all, all the players are tonight. We get the uh, hats up. Everybody's buying in for 5K tonight. This 5-10-25 no-limit game. I think I paid you enough. Except for I think one player <laughs> bought in for right at 4K. So it should be a fun night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a seven should be in for some big vibes ass. tonight. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, With that uh, first one going to <laughs> JD, the J Diggler. <laughs> Sitting in seat three. <laughs> no one's ever said that to JD. Got a shout out already from Shada Herbertson. Says, say hi to Scott for me. That's my pops. Welcome, everybody. We are back to having our uh, Tuesday night big game after a, a fun employee stream last week with a lot of dealers and, and staff. So thank you all to tuned in last week for that round of each game we had. But this is just going to be your traditional Tuesday night stream, 5, 10, 25. And we should get lots of action. And I think right, I've got I Aaron McAvoy joining me now. now. So that's, uh, that's positive. And like, I was going there, like the, the, or, the, like the house that we were staying at, like, sent us an email saying, like, hey, like, the streets are like, you can hear really me now, right? Like, you I can hear you. Drive into the city for, like, okay, perfect. You have a car that's going like, to fit in the streets. Of, like, All really right. Town. Well, yeah, like, uh, let's take a look here at the chat. Maybe you already went through this, did you? I looked at it a couple times. Just a couple. I went through Shada, who said hello to Scott. Very good. And then we got Mark. We got Poker Monkey, and, uh, we got Kiwi. What's well, going there's, on, like, guys? There is a parking lot on the edge of town that you can just like walk like to. All right, so, so like, I'm going to get myself yeah, acclimated here. We got JD like, winning the first uh, uh, flip, and then we got John, <laughs> Carlos, AJ, Scott, <laughs> Zfish, <laughs> Jay, and Venom. Okay, very good. And perhaps uh, another player coming into the night uh, season. And true to form, there's Carlos limping in with Ace King. It's a half-broken bridge, super old bridge. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're known for their mustard. I think so. The region. They had, there was a mustard museum in, uh, in Bowie. Ooh, mustard. Yeah. We didn't One make of it the that, best condiments. Fight me if you want, but mustard. Greater than ketchup. I'm I'm a mustard and ketchup guy, but uh, so I'm I'm with you on the mustard. I'm not yeah, a mayo guy. Yeah, I don't guy. like hate on ketchup or anything, but like mustard is definitely the the superior hey, condiment. In my mind. All right, we got a top top here for Carlos. Flopped diamond flush draw for Z Fish. And a whole lot of sort of other things. JT flopping a gutty. But it is a gutty to the nizzles, so not a bad hand. Better 300 from Carlos after limping the Ace King. We'll have to keep that going tonight. JT, not to be confused with JD or the J Diggles. I, I can't see him if I'm not going to log you in. That makes me giggles makes every sense. time you say it. Fantastic. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is a raise from Zfish here. Yeah, he really shouldn't have many good hands. 
uh, or at least like super nutted hands, maybe some king nine or something like that when he limps. But yeah, ace king certainly the kind of hand you wouldn't expect him to have. Although, Zfish has played with Carlos enough to know that he's capable of limping aces, kings, and ace kings. Absolutely. He's going to pick up a pair now on the turn, giving him some showdown equity. Oh. He's just going to run out sevens <laughs> instead of oh. the flush hitting. So gross. Yeah, gross for Carlos, great for Zfish. Carlos here now going to value bet his hand and probably not going to really understand what's going on when he gets raised. We will call that value owning himself. It's about to get nasty. Poker Monkey says ketchup is fine, but it does all caps not go on hot dogs. Uh, okay. That's a strong opinion. I know other people believe that, but I think a good brat, good juicy brat with mustard and mayo, or excuse me, and mustard and like pickle relish or onions, peppers, all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Zfish has concluded that his hand is best and will rip it all in. And back over to Carlos, who can't really believe what's happening, but has to make the call given the disguised nature of his hand. Hand number three. And just like that, hand number, yeah, hand number two, basically. Right, yeah. Hold, hold him, hand number two. Oh my goodness. Fish gonna get the full dub up over 10k. We have a Victor sighting. What's going on, Vic? I sucked out. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you sucked out? That's the breaking news? <laughs> Snarple up some snacks or whatever was in that box. Well, this is what we've missed, Aaron, the uh, last couple weeks. Uh, 10K pots uh, right out the jump. Do you have anything left? Yeah, and presumably this has matched the stack. So anyone who didn't feel like 5K was enough, We'll be able to add on up to the 10K mark. It certainly looks like our man Carlos is going to reload to at least 5K, if not. Okay. Yeah. How many five? Eight hit five. No, hold on. Four. Four. Give him four. Give him four. There's, there's 3,000 right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do some uh, accounting here, and then we'll get back to the action. But Zfish is going to be up a full buy-in. And... Uh, there's not much else to speak about here other than Carlos taking the hit there. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's really much to be said about it. It's just a pretty unfortunate situation there to have it run out seven when he was indeed going for the flush. And uh, that bricked off. So, yeah, tough spot there for Carlos. His hand just way too strong. Given for sure, and the slow play in the ace king, you know, pre flop really, I don't think changed much because the seven six of diamonds is probably calling on the button, and uh, the flop is what created all the action. So tough, tough run out, but long night ahead of us. Yeah, it's never fun to uh, get felted on hand number two of the live stream. Uh, that doesn't feel good, but it does mean that you've got plenty of time to get your money back. So For best sure. luck to Mr. Carlos as we see a deuce and seven flop here. Seven for Trey, two tone. Going to be top top for AJ. John here with a uh, super dusty Jack Deuce. Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. And Scott is our man of many jerseys. I believe this is now the third or fourth jersey he's worn, and he brings a new character every time. I think that's another South Park one, Aaron. We'll have to figure out who he's repping today uh, in front of his chips there. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that character. It actually, I mean, it may, it may be South Park, but I don't know who that's supposed to be. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we've got a uh, raise here, two, two and a quarter, excuse me, over what looks like a $50 straddle. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like pasta or something now. Um, yeah. Or 
Is that just a yeah, I, don't, I didn't quite see how 50 ended up out there on the felt over there. But anyways, we are going three players to a flop. Carlos here going to try to get some of his money back real quick with the 6-4 suited one gapper. But this is not the board for it. Scott going to take this one down. Nice little pot there for Scott. I guess that is the Aaron Rodgers jersey that he's repping. We might get to see Aaron Rodgers uh, play for the Jets at some point. <laughs> More than just one series. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Yeah, like Jets. Yo, like oh. yeah that was yeah, my fantasy, fantasy quarterback last year, Aaron. Crash and burn. <laughs> wow. That is, that is unfortunate. Uh, our producer, Cooper, has let us know that it's Tweet from South Park that he is sporting over there. So... <laughs> Yeah, the like super big round eyes looks very like anime or whatever, but okay. Yeah, I guess that's sweet. Okay. He's like wearing like a peace t-shirt and like a bandana or something. I don't know. Uh, I certainly have not seen all of the South Park episodes. Yeah, and so it's just like, um... It's all messed up, I don't know. Benham here going to take some I don't know, that's hilarious. Welcoming Benham back. He hadn't been on the stream in a hot minute. Glad to see him back. I know he plays a lot over at uh, the Las Colinas location. Good to see you back there, Mr. Benham. Hope you got some fans and family watching you. Fams. Fams, yeah. Uh, to go back to your uh, sad story, though, about having uh, Aaron Rodgers as your fantasy quarterback and having him go down in, like, the first drive of the first game of the season. That's pretty gross. Who, did you did you, were you able to pick up somebody and run with them? I, I forget. I, I was, yeah. I forgot who I who I ran with. Uh, you know, tried the Jordan Love and some other folks early on, but it just it was so sad because you know Aaron ran out there with the American flag. You know, ran onto the field. It was such a big celebration, early game. You know, it was televised. You know, bright lights and just Achilles rupture, just boom, right out the gate. That was just. Nasty. Kind of like Carlos's uh, second hand, but uh, we're going to hope for a nice recovery for both. And that his Achilles tended to stay intact yeah. for the remainder of the evening. All right, Benham here with a couple of ducks. He's going to raise it up. 25 to go. AJ looking at the 5 4 no takers, though, so Benham uh, and AJ, battle of the bottom of the deck here, and it is a pair of fours on the flop to take the lead. Benham, though, seeing an ace-high board out there is going to continue. And that favors his range. <laughs> clubs on the turn, changes nothing. AJ here still looks super dust, but Benham checks it back, and... If we go checky checky again, AJ will show down the winner. And indeed, Benham waves the white flag a second time. And he's going to be like, oh, I should have bet one more time. That's one of those spots where, you know, not seasoned players, if you say to them, I have a pair, they might just muck their hand with the four there. But uh, these guys are a little bit more seasoned. They're definitely going to wait and see if the pair of fours indeed is good. Because uh, normally aren't going to think it's good when somebody says they got a pair. But Venom did have the lowest of the low. <laughs> And a nice yeah, pot there for AJ. Think that's funny. Yeah, when people announce pair. <laughs> right. It's like, well, yeah, so clearly you have a really bad like, pair. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not excited to show it, it's probably not a strong one. Yeah, and when you're just like kind of holding your, your trash close to your vest and you're like, I have one pair? <laughs> just a pair. It, uh, does not speak. Uh, great confidence. AJ here will have great confidence in his top trips. JT going to float him with the King Jack. Two overcards does not connect on this turn. AJ here go for a little bit more value. Going to charge the straight flush draws of the world, but J 
Jay Tizzle is going to release. There you go. Jay Tizzle versus the Jay Diggles. That's what we'll have to uh, <laughs> refer to them as. We've got some got some good news for the uh, Dallas folks that are in the chat that come and play at TCH Dallas. Uh, the two promos that we had last month with uh, Monday night's industry night uh, for all those who work in the poker industry and then Thursday night's ladies night. Those are both going to continue for the month of April and we'll put those flyers up throughout the night just to remind everybody but uh, we had a successful ladies night Aaron this last week with uh, one of our great waitresses uh, who likes to play poker as well put together a really fun table and uh, got to invite some some ladies that weren't as familiar with, with Hold'em and were trying to learn. They played a little bit lower stakes, lower than our normal 1-2 low game. You know, it was a 1-1 game, and uh sounded like they were having a lot of fun. You could hear them throughout the room throughout the night as the wine was flowing. Very nice. Yeah. I win. I knew I won. <laughs> I knew I won. I was like, I'm winning regardless. Wow, J.D. <laughs> wins. Oh, $130 pot with seven high. There you go. The future is now. 16 days. A long time. Almost too long. Like, the very end where they're starting to just get, like, they're like, right, I'm ready to be home. Like, of course, that is the lovely Miss Mallory who puts together these games that you just saw in the background. We took, like, metros and stuff locally, but, like, we uh, rented a car and just drove around. Driving in France was nice. It was good. They drive on the right, which is important, and like they're good drivers, so like it was fine. Seven Driving on the right is strange. I've done they're it once in, in my cities, life. Now. Like, you know, have you ever yeah, been no, to a country where you've had to drive on the right? Oh I have not. Yeah, hearing JD talk about his recent yeah, trip yeah, overseas yeah, to like Europe. Course, I mean, on it's the left. Like Sorry. No. Uh, I completely uh, butchered that. Like, uh, I have uh, not. I uh, watched a friend of mine drive around a mountain on, you know, what appeared to be the wrong side. And uh, just from his view, it just, it just looked terrifying uh, watching that. Yeah, so I went to Malaysia. And yeah. uh, we flew into Kuala Lumpur the and the rented a, a little, you know, tiny, like, three-stroke or a three-cylinder oh, engine yeah, yeah, car, yeah, you know, this yeah, tiny yeah, little yeah, thing, and cruised Marseille. it around. No. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 driving on the left side was very awkward. You went to Versailles? Get him back. But I only, like, got myself into a tricky spot one time, and it was whilst I had just pulled out of, like, parking the vehicle and started driving on the right, so it was, like... A pretty quick realization when the car coming towards me was right in front of me that I was uh, screwing it up. So, luckily, didn't try to do that on a highway or anything. As we have entered four bet territory here, JD going to bump it up to 600 from the big blind. Scott making the call with the ace queen suited, and it's a queen flop for the right jack. <laughs> Very small continue here, JD. Just uh, trying to milk his opponent a little bit there, but not even the two overs and backdoor flush yeah, draw good enough. Yeah, the house that we stayed was crazy. It was like yeah, the, JD uh, is happy cool with house. taking that down on a six oh, wow. deuce deuce flop a, there. It's like private garden in the city, so like yeah. the city's all stone and cobblestone and like white, you know. And you like go through this like giant Jurassic Park doors in this garden. It's just like beautiful garden with a pool and all these trees and like, that's just, yeah, it was really. Sick. Usually smaller cities, mm -hmm. yeah, and you probably have bigger space as well. In the room? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the room. The room was good. Was massive. I mean, the house like the house like Wait, has six rooms, I think, for rent oh, or something wow. like. And uh, I mean, it was like it was like uh, it was crazy. It was like we did a movie. I'll be honest. Like, like, the house is old, and like you get this like <laughs> the key to the door was like oh, this like old school key, yeah. the old school like metal Skeleton key where you like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. putting it like fucking twist around like six times. And you're, like, <laughs> man, it's, like, yeah, 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 just like that. Like, That's cool. Uh, Top pair no kicker for AJ facing a bet from Zfish. The guy who was like running it, Stone was Cold Dorian. Nada. and he like showed up with a big smile. He's like Dorian, like Dorian Gray, and like it's like it's like super nice, super great, but like also like. The touch like creepy and like 
You ever seen like Mr. Like Deeds, that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the raise that, there, takes it down, nice like, little fourteen hundred dollar pot like, going AJ's really way. Like, he just like would just show up. Like he like you like exploring like downstairs the house in the garden. <laughs> and and he's like a butler, like following your guys. No, 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 no. Like, he was like he's like the head concierge oh. slash like check in, it's like a small place. He had like ten employees total or something, you know? When he was lives, that trip of yours to Malaysia? He lives on site. Oh, and, like, that you would was. You wouldn't see him, and then, like, all of a sudden, you're trying to open the gate and have a struggle. Four years ago now. Like, oh, gotcha. like, yeah, what three, the four years ago. So it's been a little while, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> <laughs> food was amazing. I mean, we only have like, like, like 10 guests total, so, like, yeah. Um, like, it's a very interesting culture. Um, you know, it's uh, primarily. Um, I mean, Islamic like, country, I mean, and so the, like, like, the citizens yeah, are not allowed to drink, <laughs> but they are allowed to sell <laughs> you <yugus. laughs> So, you know, all the touristy yeah. spots, anything that's the not too far off the beaten path, like there's going to be a way to buy alcohol. But you're not going to be drinking with any of the locals. You're going to be drinking with other foreigners. So it is a unique experience there. But a beautiful country. And there was a window. Very cool. Lots of cool critters. You could see that window led to another window. You could see straight outside in the garden. Definitely part of the definitely part of the world I want to check out for sure. Oh yeah, I want to go back and explore Thailand and Cambodia. Wow. Um, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> Southeast South Asia. Asia. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. We'll, we'll but I, like yeah, only able to go to Malaysia. I did spend a couple <laughs> nights in Singapore, which was cool, but that's no, no. just a big that's city. It's, it's, you know, you're not really exploring Southeast Asia, I would say. But it was a fun city. Really good food in Singapore as well. But, um, yeah. Some more regs in the chat. What's going on, Pez and Reyna and Mitchell? How are y'all doing tonight? Optimistic you think you're making that far. Yeah. <laughs> AJ here can uh, you're go run your GameStop or what? <laughs> what? No, wait, what just happened? Yeah, oh, he uh, limped the eights into the $50 straddle. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Hit and run. Run. I don't really know how this happened. But this is going to be a lead from AJ. Sort of trapping, I guess, with the eights there almost. But uh, does not get a favorable flop for his hand, but still takes it down. Scott, we sweating any games today? Huh? Sweating any games today? Still got an open seat in seat nine. I'm sure that'll be filled here pretty soon. We'll see who shows up. Fifty dollar straddle already sticking here. And we're just on orbit number two, so yeah, this may just be a 5, 10, 25, 50 game here pretty much for the rest of the evening. At least that is until we start getting the $100 straddles on. AJ here waking up with the ladies from the small blind, going to take this up to 600. JD, easy fold, but back over to Carlos. Yeah, on the button, he's stuck. King Jack suited. He's going to see a fall. Oh, hello. Flop it is. Top two for Carlos. How does he do? Gutty for AJ. And AJ here should be very cautious on this board. This is a board where you can either just check call or bet very small, you know, 20%, something like 250, uh, 300 maybe at most. Just kind of try to set the price for the turn. <laughs> that is a much more favorable price than a pot size bet here from Carlos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now back yeah, over yeah, to yeah. EJ. Yeah, like, yeah, this feels pretty bad because yeah, yeah, Carlos yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, leaving himself yeah, hardly yeah, anything yeah. behind. Look, he's got 2,400 back there. So if AJ calls, pot goes to 4,200. We're talking about stack to pot ratio. Like, not quite 0 0.5, but uh, in that ballpark. So this is basically an all in. Oh my God. For a full for AJ more, as far we as we the equities and him continuing past the turn. Oh, cool! Yeah, I want to play a big R. Wow, all, <laughs> all in in a snap. Oh. Yeah, it's. I mean, <coughs> okay. it's understandable. AJ doesn't want to fold out his equity, but he doesn't even have backdoor flush possibilities. Maybe if there's two clubs or two diamonds, something like that. But he's going to go for it, and Carlos in a pretty good position to go ahead and. Oh my God! <laughs> and they said one time. 
Chop. Chop. Carlos was about to read. Carlos was about to lose his shiat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the case queen. The AJ lady. felt bad about it. You could see in the moment AJ was like, oh, I didn't do the right thing. This sucks, but Carlos already got stacked. And then the 10 rolls off, you could just feel the like, the, the pure rage building in Carlos and AJ being like, oh my God, what just happened? The chop comes on the river. He gives him the fist of like, yeah, 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 it's cool. Everything's fine. <laughs> Carlos just sat there. Oh, just the, the pit in like, his stomach. You know he felt when that ten hit. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, Carlos will stay with us, as will the rest of the players at the table. They might have all found themselves on the news had that 10 held on the turn. But uh, I kid, of course. But uh, that was pretty, pretty spicy. It's just a chop top. And we'll move on to the next one. John here with some red 10. Do you want action or not? This is funny. So I have not been to Hawaii. Uh, it is definitely some place that I would like to go. But one of the things that I really liked about uh, Malaysia was that there are just coconuts everywhere. Like a any of the little shops or food trucks or anything. Like wherever you went, you could just get a coconut. And a guy with a machete would hack it into pieces, you know, chop off all the outside and stick a, a straw in it for you. I mean, it was just it was just a thing, you know? It was like instead of buying a Coke or something, you just get a Coke. And, uh, all right. John stuffs it all in there after he gets re-raised, and that's it. Yeah, big stuff there for, for John with the 10s. And there is Wonder Tweak. We have the close-up, Aaron, of Wonder Tweak. Wonder Tweak, that's what's on there. Okay, all right, so perfect. Thank you for that close-up there, production team, Cooper and Taylor in there. All right, Benham here gonna get one through as he squeezes from the straddle with the king eight. It's the king ten to fold, and that's definitely the benefit of racing with some hands like this. You'll sort of see these kind of dynamics. Um, they pop up pretty regular in tournament poker, at the very least, where you'll raise with maybe not king eight necessarily, but queen five and jack four, and just kind of these like high card, low card, disconnected stuff that will get your opponent to fold better, like dominating hands. Right, you get the king ten to fold. That's a huge win because. God forbid, yeah, King 8 and King 10 see a flop and it comes King hot, right? Like, you can get wrecked in these spots. So, raising with that hand, getting your opponent to pull is slightly better hand. Really, really good. Pretty, really he's actually got a sneaky deceptive hand. Pretty, he's got kind of a sneaky deceptive hand. Walker wants to know if the seat is open in real time because he can come and play. Walker, here's what I would say. I would say if you're close by and you're really interested in playing, I would just drive over there and see if you can get the spot because Reyna is correct. It's a 15 minute. Uh, oh, wait, is this our new player? It's been a while. Ah, uh, Bridge Mike. Bridge Mike is there. He's got a fistful of cash and he is already seating. <laughs> It's like Damn. I just I just saw a large head in camera and that was Bridge Mike's dome. <laughs> there we go. Uh, well, sorry Walker, but uh, we would have loved to have you. If you'd like to play in the future, please do reach out 
to Mallory. I'm going to go ahead and put her info up on the screen right now. She is the one to get in touch with if you'd like to play this game in the future. So go ahead and uh, text her. You can email. You can scan the QR code there. However, however you want to go about it, reach out to Mallory, and she'll do her best to get you in the mix. There's Miss Malpow entered the chat. What hey Jerry, you didn't do that uh, restaurant in Old Chief? 10 9 the deuce to tone here. It's going to be a pair of eight uh, still goods for right? yeah, Carlos. No, we didn't make it. No. Man, you effective third yeah. pair, but yeah, three to a straight flush as well. One of the best. We have some, we have some 175 and uh, yeah. take her down. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Mallory's doing it all. She's yeah, yeah, yeah. running this game, yeah, getting all the players the together. She's in the chat. She's like, handing out bananas. Bananas? Yeah. That's bananas, huh? Tara is joining us in the chat. What's going on? Danny Chen. Well, how's it going, Danny Chen, we need, we need you back on the stream, buddy. I can't remember uh, on a couple of streams that Danny was on. I think he was going as... Maybe it was Baby Dong. I surely don't want to say that incorrectly. <laughs> Maybe it was, because I know it wasn't Little Dong, but uh, we did something in, uh, in he was the second Dong. Maybe it was Dong Jr. Didn't mean to do that to you, Danny. I know it wasn't Baby Dong. It was weird, so we were in Avignon. Yeah. You may hear flopping the Deuce 7. We were in that really nice hotel. We were supposed to check out stuff. We were debating if we were going to do the drive. Street draw, he's got a plus draw. And he's got East, Jack, and Jack 10 to fold. They came and informed us. Take it down with four high. Let's go, AJ. There was a terrorist threat or something? You're kidding. No, no. So they locked the city down. Yeah, well, that makes two really, of us, like, Annie. Into, like, the <laughs> Building that bank up back up. Don Jr. it was, but it was just poor like a Don thing, Jr. Yeah. will not be coming. Uh, well, hopefully That's we'll crazy. see you again on so, here like, before like, you know like, yeah, the police called Refill said, like, the coffers <laughs> and come <laughs> settle so you're just kind of with all these new like, okay, players. Like, well, see ya. Bridge Mike sits down to the 640 and he is out of there. Yeah, so you just got to like hang out here, you know? And uh, that's bad. But anyway, once you checked out and like finally got down there, they said, like, okay, we talked to the police. They're allowing us to escort you out of the city. Seven deuce. Three bet to 250 here. The lady walked in front of us and like escorted us to the police, like, in the south of the city. So then we're like, I guess we're going to like go do something else, you know? So. Yeah, I just feel like they pulled a prank on you. No. <laughs> oh, hey, let's go. Oh my goodness. Nobody in the streets. Like, literally yeah. just like. Oh. <laughs> Aaron, what is happening here? <laughs> well, pretty clearly the seven deuce game mm -hmm. is, if not in effect, certainly mm -hmm. still always worth the uh, swag um, sort yeah, of so uh, credit. Saw, uh, try <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. Like the, uh, they they would have just brutalized or something. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 these guys. Uh, we're supposed to see it on our way down, down in that town. We were just like, players. I was just, just like, calling, so we're just like, not raising the team. He is set up like, to get double. So we went and saw that, and then we went and uh, hit NT. Or is NT between Can and Nice? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do we see that Can actually miss? We hit NT. So Can, NT, and Nice? Yeah, yeah, Okay. No? Do you have a player for John makes a committing bet here. You can see he was sort of like pondering really how big he was, should yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All in and a call. JD says, I would have screwed you guys up. Not King anymore. ball. No. Not no more. Not anymore. Is that your nope. JD was the one getting wrecked by that turn card. Can still find a jack here to get bailed out for John, but it runs out clean. Yeah, you're going to put it. I just reduce the space. Mike's card is, it says player is not found. Another 10K pot right, this Mike time going back the way of Carlos. And he's just about unstuck there. 
Yeah, JD could have survived a second board there with the backdoor flush, but yeah, if, if he was able to make that flat call with the seven deuce uh, up to a thousand, I mean, he would have had to call a thousand pre with seven deuce after putting in a, a raise to 250, but yeah, he would have just gotten wrecked by that turn. Yeah, so with that, we look there, Carlos just down 500 now, sort of trading places with John, who's now down about 4K. Bridge uh, Mike, of course, hasn't had opportunity to uh, win or lose a hand it. quite yet. But now that we've got all nine players, we are going to get the Nick game going. Let's go. Let's go. Can we go to 100? Otherwise, it's not worth it. <clears throat> okay, Carlos uh, been all in three times already. John H. jammed the once uh, with the tens and then was in all in there. With, so they've both been all in multiple times. And now we got a knit button game going. Yeah, 100 bucks a player. So you win. <laughs> You're getting 100 bucks. If you don't win a hand before everyone else has won a hand, then you are going to be on the hook to pay it out. It's going to be $800. Penalty. John there put uh, just enough out to make this a call, I guess. Not exactly sure what happened there, but it is going to be an open and a call. Both these players getting a little bit out of line, but you know it's the first hand of the Nick game, and I, you know, I'll say it again. I always advocate for getting a little bit out of line before the Nick game really starts to kind of take over everyone's attention, right? It's like once you're down to like four, maybe three players with the Nick game with the Nick button remaining, you know that those guys are going to be opening pretty wide. They're going to be coming after it. So don't wait till then to start to widen your range. Do it a little bit earlier, and people will still give you credit for hands. But as it stands, it's going to come a monotone flop, ace high, checks to the button, and John is just going to get to take this one down for free. Shows the king nine, no spade, and everything. Yeah, like, oh. no, no spades in any hands there. And he drinks the snacks out of water. I did notice AJ's added on to his stack, so he's got over 10,000 in his stack. So we. Just 20 something hands in. I already have a couple of 10K stacks in this game that started out with a 5K buy in uh, max. Now it is match the stack. So we have the potential for some big pots tonight. That's why we're all here. Let's get it rolling. We like big pots and we cannot lie. We, we cannot lie. <laughs> We tried to go to uh, Monaco. We did go, but like we were trying to go, it was like our last full day, and it was uh, Good Friday, which was like a holiday or like a, yeah. it was a holiday, but it's like a weekend day basically. I don't know. We tried to go to Monaco, and it was packed. Oh, I can imagine. Like we like we were started traveling in every park garage we went to, like within like a kilometer of the city center was just like full. Oh. Everything. Like the, the cafe de Paris in front of the uh, casino. Yeah, yeah, all those ones were full. Yeah. Uh, there were, we finally found nice parking like around Mike. the bay, like by the mm. palace, mm. like yeah, down yeah, by yeah, the water. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're but, by the harbor at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some value like here the, like, we're like on the wrong side of the harbor, like over in the. <coughs> but anyway, by that point, like uh, we. Uh, Thank you. I got his black card. Yeah, welcome to the game, Bridge Mike. He's another one of our regulars, Aaron, that we haven't seen in a while. Glad to see him back on. No, we're still going to do the flips. Plus, everybody just gets paid. Yeah, it just covers the same difference. I 
It was flash flash. Like, I'm going to go for a force flash flash. Over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Away from me. Jay goes for the limp and call from under the gun with the 9 6 suit. Venom, Z Fish in there as well. And it's going to be top and bottom pair for, uh, for Venom. Give him a shot to get their money back. Too. Give him a shot to get their money back. Not much else here for Z Fish and J. He just third pair for J. But Z Fish is going to go ahead and raise. And, yeah, he's got one of these try it one time, and if your opponent calls, just super shut it down. So there is the call, and another diamond on the turn. Out of position, it's just so hard to play this if you're Z-Fish. He does pick up the straight draw, and so I suppose, yeah, he's going to go ahead and continue telling the story, like, but I feel like you I flopped the flush, and he's going to get it through. <laughs> that is pretty extraordinary, honestly. Just this full-blown zero equity flush. Like, yeah. And Venom yeah. is like, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he knows if Venom called with a non-diamond hand, you know, top pair of some sort, that you know, any diamond, he's probably going to fold if he faces aggression there. So nice, nice takedown there by Zfish. Knowing a check was not going to get it done. That sounds like a good start to a game. Yeah. Everybody's up a little bit. Hey, it's some free money. The one guy's just already tilted. Now let's play. Now let's play. Hey, you want to play, buddy? Now let's play. Now let's go. Yes. First hand gets stacked. Boom. Boom. Now game on. Yeah. Cascaded calls here. Nick game in effect. But nobody wanted to do it. They were too afraid of the pain. Venom though, he's out of there. So four players going to see this flop. King high, two tone. Nobody pairing. I watched that. I think it's good. Thank you so much. Rewatch. Oh. Ten of clubs now on the turn. There's going to be a pair for Scott and Jay. Both players also with a flush redraw, so hitting them hard. Just a gut shot for AJ. So he's out of it. And super tough spot for Scott. He's now working with second pair and at what looks like a strong flush draw. And he gets one of the very few outs that could actually improve his hand. If you saw it just a moment ago, he had 7% equity, and he hits the offsuit queen. Obviously, he has the queen of clubs, so that couldn't come. But just a queen, such a rare card to come, given the overall dynamic. That's... A bet of 950 from Jay, actually. You saw the, and the Scott board just <laughs> calling. My yep. goodness. You can bluff. You saw that shit on the board, right, Scott? I didn't know you could bluff in this game. <laughs> Straight, the bar, I saw that shit. Yeah. You know me, I, don't, I just like to call to see it. I know. <laughs> Got a, a you like hearing that. I just like to call to see it. With the GA, AA. Good All stuff here from DJ Jedi Master Ted. Expensive to sleep on. He didn't know you can't bluff. Uh, very creative. Well done. <laughs> Once he's in the hand, it's, yeah. See you at the river, buddy. <laughs> See you at showdown. <laughs> what an itty bitty ace. <laughs> I love it. Well done, Jedi. So Carlos here, not going to lift the uh, ace jack O. Oh, going to make it 175 to put Scott's in there. Z-Fish is in there. JT is in there. Benham is in there. JD only needs to put in 125, and he could flop a straight, man. You can't go fold in there. How can you not? Discipline, discipline, discipline. And he was thinking in two languages. No, it is one of those things where it's like you could flop top pair and just kind of get sucked into a turn. You know, like a flop and turn bet somehow, and just you should have never been in there. So I understand the discipline, letting it go. My sort of thoughts are when you're getting that good of a price, you go for the straight or the top two, and that's it. Like if, if you don't get that, then you just sort of ditch it, even if it's the top pair. And that way you don't really allow yourself to get sucked in spots that you shouldn't be in. That price is just so, so like, The whole way we're just like. 
try to speak a little bit of French that I know, right? You know, but mostly just say bonjour, monsieur, yeah. and stuff, you know? And then we land in Dallas, and I get on the plane, it's hot. And then, like, for the next hour... Carlos, one of his like, rare bluffs, and just gets <laughs> the gin card for him there on the turn. <laughs> I just can't. Like, I'm just, like, in France all the way until, boom, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm just like, uh... Like the customs guy, like, oh, uh, no. <laughs> so somebody will be like, uh, hello. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it was so bad. My oh, wife was making so much fun of it. You said keep it, you know? Oh, that's a gin turn. Blast it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. He's hitting it right now. He's hitting it on the turn. I don't know. Wow, talking about sucking out. Big oh, my food. God. Thank you, Christian. <clears throat> Definitely would have folded that squeeze. Four players up at the 10K mark. Yeah. Scott, you would've, you would've Rich Mike, through. around 6,000. John, Venom, and JT all hanging out down under 5K. I'm going to try to spin up yeah, the uh, relative better, short back. Back. My flight flight is back. My flight is back like Still working very, thousands you know, like, of I mean, They spoke English, but like yeah. very thick yeah. accents. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't know. Just felt like I was still like in France. Yeah. You know? I just, I just taking a flight the day before in France. Is that a straddle? Straddle, yeah. straddle. You got a black in there. Well, what about in yeah. general? Was the welcoming okay or? Yeah, I think the welcoming yeah, was, was okay. Like we, no bad experience? Well, general, no, we didn't have any bad experience. That was good. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with my video. Who am I? Then I'm here with the knit button. A short stack and we basically had a rule that like every person we met we would say bonjour and then say like we're leaving like this. You know, just like try, just try. A little bit on the little side, bit small side, like but bad. and that's just like, you know, like, all right, we'll start with the back up. It's right in here, and it's like, cool. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a good strategy. I was like, all right, let's, let's carry a little weight and be like, okay. This is the like, Texas Card House Dallas location, and for anybody yeah. who's in the area thinking about coming to play cards, we have a $300 10K guaranteed black chip bounty tournament going right now. There's already five tables going, not even uh, 7 p.m. We also have 10 one two tables, a couple of PLO tables. Uh, Rebecca's got her five card game going, so the, the house is packed tonight outside of this live stream so if you're in the area want to come drink some complimentary beer and play some cards come on out to tch dallas we've got ourselves another case of the tricky trappy carlos as he is working with two red kings here limps under the gun and is going to get at least fifty dollars out of jd well, that's oh, a raise. Sure. I don't I know if he meant to, but. I think it's 50, right? I tell you to call him. That's what about it. It was in the first Just do it. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hands roll back, so yeah, that's fine. Honest with him. Honest Abe over there in seat three. Yeah, sucked down. Here we go. You raise, I go. <laughs> JD, again, being very honest, but he did pick up just the tiniest shred of equity, but the river will not help him. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. And Carlos just <laughs> back, <laughs> back <laughs> the king <laughs> turned him straight over. What an angle. That almost worked. <laughs> You say, wait, were you really trying to angle me with that accidental raise there? Too funny. Yeah, I, it's, it's pretty funny. That's right, boys. That's little the fucking pocket. Absolutely. Fuck you. I mean, I think uh, these guys have played with each other enough to know that there's not really any angling going on here. Right. As much as Carlos doing what Carlos does, which is limp no. these gigantic no. hands from early position, uh, or any position really, but yeah, always no, very frequently from early position. I refuse. I refuse to play. The intention oh, of the background. Reverse psychology. Yeah, 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 that's a big one. That's the big one. All right, Benham here has released his knit button, but he's still going to get after it. Raises the button with the 5 3 suited one gapper. JD waking up with the 10. Squeeze it up and back to Venom who is going to ask for a color up on his uh, 
you intended to call the yellow it, chick, so 5k in play. Would have to stay, it crossed the line. And Benham because here is going to make the yeah. call, <laughs> playing on the button <laughs> with uh, a bad straight. hand, but if you can find a way to improve, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, does he. I mean, yeah, th and this is just an ugly flop for JD. Like, he has the range advantage, so he's going to continue and hope that his opponent just has something like King Queen of Spades or, you know, anything like that. And he can just get that equity to fold out. Benham is over here with an amazing combo draw, though. He's going to make the call for 525. King on the turn, board getting nastier and nastier for JD, of course. Now losing to some sort of king X of hearts. And Benham, after JD checks to him, slam dunk bet spot. And he doesn't even have to go very big. Yeah, he's going to go 1,200 into 2,800. This is perfect as JD will release. And if he had his nip button, he would have to show, but he's going to show anyway, because why not? Yeah, and how many times, Aaron, do you see a player there that has so much equity? You know, he does make the call on the flop, but, you know, a lot of times you'll see players just check it on the turn and not re realize that equity and then maybe get scared to bet on the river. So uh, good job you know, by him putting out a, a bet there that almost kind of screamed call and uh, got JD to fold the better hand. Still just three players with the nip button. Surprisingly enough, one of them is JD, but he's got a suited connector this time on the button, facing an open and a three bet in front. I'm gonna try to sneak in with a call, perhaps, but uh, no, it is indeed the cold four bet. Who's number eight? Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he took that number. It's at 600 to go. I mean, it certainly makes more sense than uh, than calling JD. Not going to do a ton of cold calling three bets. But uh, how many number? How many players? First inspection. I thought that's what he was going for. He takes now jack of clubs. Gonna let it go, and this one's going to get through JD. Come on. <laughs> I know, Z Fish this. Like I could have coolered you so hard on a club board. Absolutely. It's like I would have owned your soul. All right, here we go. It's a battle between AJ and JT for the knit game. Who, who will be the knit? Who you got? I'm going with uh, AJ being the uh, winner here, and JT going to end up the knit. Uh, I, think, I think that's right. Hard to go against uh, AJ's playing style here in a, in a knit button game, but you never know. JT going to limp the ace 10 here. Some interesting. When are you leaving, Ben? Sort of mind game here. I think this is intended to be a look back. Oh, I, see, I, see. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't know. When you've got a nip button and you have ace 10, you should definitely be trying to win this hand. But he is just going to limp and call. JT here with the two overs. So I got 2,000 in a stack, so I guess he's just kind of trying to hit something, which he does. River Rat, all caps. What's up, man? Welcome. Check call from JT. He is light years ahead here. Benham needs to hit a five and a five only on the river. Doesn't come. Still a gross board here for JT. He's just going to show it down. And we were, we were both wrong. <laughs> we, were, we were dead wrong. <laughs> How in the fuck is that possible? And they say, how is it possible for him to be the nit? But he is. I'm in disbelief. 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 I'm in dis
Another great Texas Card House location. It's got some really cool tournament stuff going on now, and they are growing down there. Which love to see that. You have three dealers per day. Per yeah, I say now it's three dealers, so it's like an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be only two dealers, so it was like four hours. Now it was six hours. Five hours. Five hours of three dealers. All right, so Nick game over. I'm just going to be playing some regular poker, although I imagine the Nick game will. Uh, oh, it feels like three hours with Jay Nick in the box. It's only been like 45 minutes. Get started before you know it once again. It's just going to be a single raise pot there. Carlos takes it down. Excuse me, just a single raise and take it. As uh, once again, we started things off with our uh, video teaser, but going to go ahead and throw this up here once more. We've got over a million dollars in tournament guarantees coming up at the Texas Card House in Houston location. We are T minus one week from the kickoff. 16 events from April 10th through the 22nd. Once again, there at TCH in Houston. Going to be a ton of amazing tournaments, great value, all culminating in a main event that you won't want to miss. So if you're in or around the Houston area, get ready for some action. Put it on your calendar. As I think I'm going to be down there for the main event. Uh, that is my plan at the very least, but we shall see. Don't think I'm going to make it down there, but I have been to that location off West Timer. It has a great new club down there, so go check it out if you're in the area or if you want to go down for another Poker Atlas tour because they are doing awesome tournament series. A little bit of something for everyone here. Top, top. <laughs> and yeah, gut shot for JT. Comes in immediately on the turn. Also has the only club in the hand. Checks through Ooh. and another club. So he's going to be playing not quite the butt flush, but the five high flush is the best hand. And we're going to check through once again. He'll get to show this down. <laughs> he said, oh, hell, I got a flush, too. The flush straight. Not quite as strong as the straight flush, but still quite good. Early look at the VPIP numbers, just 35 hands in. Benham and AJ up top on the VPIP list at 47 and 44% respectively. Bridge Mike hasn't had an opportunity to uh, really establish himself. I think just playing one more hand will double his VPIP. So, of course, the numbers only mean anything once we have a reasonable amount of statistics behind them. Carlos here going to raise it up from the hijack and a bunch of blackjack hands and other such nonsense going into the wow, muck. Carlos gets another <laughs> oh one through God, with a single fire. raise. Unstoppable. <laughs> so I do 75 and one best. I do 175 and one best. Right, so uh, <laughs> what are your plans for the upcoming apocalypse? I mean, the, the eclipse. You're both in this hand or like the next thing you play? Uh, probably to be asleep. To be asleep at to one be asleep. in the afternoon. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Picking up your buddy, Benham? Yeah, I, that's uh, when uh, my dog Hazel and I like to take our naps, and uh, neither one of us care too much about the eclipse. Carlos, the Uber Black. I think I'm going to need to talk to your dog about that uh, myself. I don't, I don't know if I can take your word for that. Maybe we'll go outside and howl at the moon. I don't know, Aaron, you know? <laughs> You can howl at the moon and the sun at the same time. That's the problem. I fed you early, and now you're just going to lock it up, huh? Oh, shoot, I got dinner. Uh, he got a oh, yeah, yeah, it should be a good time. I mean, it's pretty exciting that we're in the part of the country that is going to see totality. So, you know, you see the kind of wavy pattern, you know, in the maps and everything of where totality is going to happen. And it's kind of... I haven't seen so many what. You know, we got a bunch of people driving in from out of state and everything. That is to true. To come and see it. But it's also just really cool that there's going to be this giant shadow cast on the planet that's just going to slowly drift across, like, over Texas and up through Oklahoma, whatever, right? Like, it's just going to be this big shadow as the moon comes flying through. Like, it's just a pretty cool event. You know, that, that, yeah, you don't get to see it all the time. It's, it's fairly rare. 
uh, by region, anyways, of course. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that we're just here. We don't have to go anywhere. And we don't have to be one of those people that's trying to think about how they're going to drive for 12 hours or whatever to come down here and see it, which a lot of people are going to do. JD here turning top two. Going to raise this up as he is up against some straight draws, some flush draws, some up and down for Carlos here. I mean, to let go of that equity there, yeah, it's kind of a big deal, but he does release. And everyone folds, and JD just gets this through. Doesn't have to sweat a river card against yeah. any of those hands. Very surprising there. Uh, uh, he didn't show anything, but uh, King of Clubs came in the river, so it's like clubs, clubs. Oh, somebody King rabbit hunted. Clubs. King of Clubs on the end. <laughs> the butt flush, the 6-4. going to be good. You know, Aaron, would that... As a single guy, would that be an opportunity, you know, to, to take a girl on a date to to go check out the eclipse? Or I mean, as long as you take her after you go to the uh, aquarium. Yes. yes. But how do you approach the, uh, hey, let me take you out to the woods on the first date? That seems a little uh, serial killer-ish. Um, you know, I would say that the way that you just said it absolutely does sound very <laughs> serial killerish, and uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lead with that. I don't think that's going to give you much success, my friend. Let's go out to the sticks and uh, get in bring, the hand. Yeah, you bring the booze, I'll bring the chainsaw. You know. <laughs> uh, John here, can I go ahead and take a stab on the turn because he's like, I have nothing but you check, so I yeah, win, and he does. Yeah, I I mean, first date, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's such a big event that, like, why not, I guess. Right. But at the same time, it's repair? also, like you say, you're kind of, you're signing up for a little bit of a, well, I guess if it's local. No, it doesn't have to be. You don't have to go to the woods, right? I mean, like, you just go to anywhere. Right. You're going to see it. It comes right through Austin. comes right through Dallas. Like, anybody's going to see it. So. Get coffee and uh, pastry and watch the eclipse. And then there you go. If you hate each other, then you just uh, go your separate ways. Yeah. Then you got a cool story to, you know, say, hey, I had this terrible date, but the, the eclipse was awesome. <laughs> or our first date was during the eclipse and it was right. amazing, and now we're married and have 18 children. That's right. You never know. Ace High Board here connects with a new one. As far as pairs are concerned, we got some gut shots, some open enders, back doors, and seen the world some all, game. all around shenaniganry. It's gonna be a bet from AJ, call from Carlos, and it'll be heads up to his turn. You did? Deuce of spades, the card everyone wants to see. No, no pair is still good here for AJ. Oh, really? And after betting. The flop we is going the to metro. the turn. Right. And Carlos will first call. First day there, I think. Second day there. And we went. We were saying in like the first ornament or whatever. Uh, so we took like we went from like opera to like. I think we took like the Mont Mart stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good neighborhood. It's a good neighborhood. Jack Hart's really not a good card for AJ. But apparently it's like kind of high up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So as from the well, metro so to like the street. Because you want to rep exactly was like 10 of clubs here. I don't even know. Now, like, we started walking up the stairs and it just like kept going. I'm like, holy, how, how deep how it does far with the over bet. Like, Let's go. Like, we walked up like two stories to get there. And then, like, you can't have there, Queen 10 of clubs. I can have Queen 10 of clubs. Around, like, it was just like a spiral staircase. Gets it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just around and around. And around. <laughs> <laughs> well, it places it right in front of Carlos's nose. <laughs> yeah, Carlos was like, shit, I got that. But what am I going to do? Call an over bet? Yeah, big bet there. Gets it done. Over second pair? I mean, it would have been correct, but tough to do. It wasn't expensive. Rush hour was like 12 euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curious if anybody else in the chat has any plans for this Eclipse thing that's happening. I do know there's a, a group from uh, TCH Dallas and Las Colinas that's going to be going down to the Austin area, I believe, or somewhere in that vicinity, hill country-ish, do a little camping. Yeah, so that ought to be fun for them. Yeah, I've got a 
Oh, crew. I know. I had no clue. Seven. Like, if I knew that, I would have been able to do it. I mean, the weather wasn't that great. It was literally raining. But still, places, okay. so, you know, it's yeah. probably better to do it that way. Uh, have or a nice metro, chill you know, place to watch it from as well. So, looking forward to it. Awesome. Uh, I mean, we, we took funny so, rumors too. Uh, and honestly, they were fun. Venom takes down the raid on the button. The only one that was like really A little bit of accounting. Let's see who's winning, who's losing. John H. down the most. 3,400 in the hole. Z Fish. 4 p.m. or something. So, we had like rush hour. 4,800. So Everyone else sort of. Yeah, what well, would have been like a 30 minute race. Like Carlos has oh, worked his there. way into the positive after getting stacked on the second hand of the night. It's really funny because um, you can get a, a real feel. Thank you for, for how susceptible human beings are. Probably always, but particularly in today's climate, um, to digest headlines and not really dig into the meat of things and really understand what's going on, right? The number of times that I've heard people talking about the eclipse, right, at the poker table, and the sincerity with which people have said a variety of different things is pretty amazing. Right, like there is, it's something like every 300 and some years, whatever, that the totality of the eclipse will come back to the same region. So if you're here in Austin or whatever and you don't want to move, you don't want to go anywhere, the next time you can just sit right where you are and see totality, it's going to be 300 and some years, something like that, right? Um, but there are some people that are convinced that there won't be another eclipse like at all. I, I was ever. always told to never connect their Heathrow ever, so I never have. So. No. Yeah. And that's not true. I know, but like I've yeah, never this is their only the, chance uh, to see one. Traveling, so yeah. yeah. I've never, I've never but it's really funny because it's like, you know, these are all just from headlines. It's like you just, you see it on your news feed or on Facebook or something, and you just, you think that what you just read is the truth or that it's the whole picture. And it just isn't quite the way it is. As we've got one hell of a flop here. Absolutely, for these hands especially. Everyone has a substantial piece of what is at least perceived equity. At 250 here from John after it checks to the button too. So this is a bunch of players sort of checking reasonable holdings from out of position. AJ here with a pair and a gut shot straight flush draw. Just gonna call still. Does make some sense as pairing a flush draw with his exact holdings is a little bit suspect in terms of like getting all of the money in. But it's the player with the weakest hand here, right. Zfish, who's actually going to pounce on this. Because he's like, how can you just, like, bet, call, call? Like, you guys can't have anything. Turns out they've actually got monsters. Yeah, I don't know if I would drive over there. Maybe I would try, but, like, I don't know. Definitely yeah, I did not see that after. coming. Turn me on the country, let me, like, learn it makes a ton of sense, like, though. I mean, like, if Zfish can just raise to 1,000 and get a bunch of players with, like, 10, 8, and whatever to just fold because they don't have a diamond or whatever it is, right? Like... It's just, it's incredible. But wow. as it stands, it's to pass he's really just kind of pulled one of these, uh, find out where you're at, and oh, that guy's, he's got it. As John is going to rip it all in with the top pair, second kicker, and backdoor cart flush draw. AJ now, pair <laughs> and this gut shot straight flush draw, this is almost why he should have raised, put himself in a position where he can't fold, right? Now, by just calling the 250, it almost feels like, ludicrous to call but what else do you do with a hand this strong it's unbelievable he's gonna fold it oh my goodness five percent equity right into the muck what do I do now? and scott folds the two pair ten six of diamonds in the muck and the eight six of clubs just gandhi that is this is a spectacular hand. I, I think yeah. there's a lot to be learned from the dynamics of how this all played out. Now, how often are you going to play four-way pots? How often are you going to have, you know, this flop and all this stuff? Okay, this, this is a very tiny little microcosm of poker. But so much can be learned from how this hand was played from all four positions, honestly, as to how to 
how to win. Uh, right? Like, just, like, just how to win. Two nines? I had eight six. John just lied and told me he had two nines. Eight nines. Show some one nine. So like, okay, now he's telling the truth. I had eight six at club. You had a set? Yeah, close yeah. enough. I had eight six close. He said close uh, yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Ace nine? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. He's, he's still good, fibbing. Right? He's still <laughs> fibbing, though. He said ace nine. <laughs> I love it. Poker players never lie. Right? Oh, you're the that's the nuts. You're you're nutted. Yeah. Z fish there did what several other players well, in the hand should have shit. done. Me? And ends up, you know, honestly, I, I honestly in a position I where like he I can raise and then I fold because his hand I actually I lends itself like, to fold it. Those two other call. hands absolutely I'm should be folded. But the only way to get yourself into a position where you cannot fold it is to have raised yourself, too? which I think no, is what not. either of those two players probably should have done. Yeah, that was a unreal, just power poker there by by John. Yeah, either power poker or passive poker from uh, his opponent. Yeah, <laughs> both. It kind of cuts both ways, I think. He sensed All passive right. and, just, and just jammed on him. <laughs> John here, fresh off of winning that pot, is like, I'm not going to test my luck twice. This time, queen 10 suited. Very juicy hand, but going to let it go to the 3-bet from Scott. As he is going to roll over the queens and show down the winner. Yeah, I think there's there's some players at the table that you perhaps give a little bit less credibility to their three bets and maybe some other players a little bit more. Makes sense to get out of there with the You can just ask, right? Yeah. That's cool, Scott. Obviously after you fold. Yeah, and if John was in the showing a card mood in that hand, I would have liked to have seen him show that King of Hearts, which was just a... You're pretty irrelevant card, uh, <laughs> just to make the two players that folded such huge equity on that flop. But moving on. Six, seven, squeeze here from AJ with the uh, eight four of diamonds on the button. Makes a lot of sense after. Single raise and a couple of callers in between. Bridge Mike, though, waking up with the Cowboys. It's going to be a cold four bet. Oh, yeah, he's going chunky. Um, out of position. Yeah, all of these hands shriveled up into nothing. I was really happy to call that. And Bridge Mike makes it 2175 here. He's cold four betting. He definitely does not need to go this big. In fact, he can go basically min click, min click and a half. Given the fact that he really just doesn't have that many chips behind as well. Not only does it just look super strong, is super strong, but I mean, if he ever if he ever wanted to do this with Ace and Four of Diamonds, yeah. right? Like, sure, the twenty one seventy five is almost certainly going to get a bunch of holes, but you don't even have to go that big if you wanted to. AJ here going to posture for a moment. I mean, yes, he's getting better than two to one on his money, but your implied odds are just not that great. Even if you hit an Ace, you could be behind. Grab some pink chips, shuffle them up a little bit, and I mean, I presume he's just kind of in his head a little bit about like, well, I've got one of these kind of dusty hands that sometimes wants to five bet it all in, right? But like, I don't think Bridge Mike is the guy you do that. Just randomly noticing too, that was three hands in a row where AJ's had diamonds. <laughs> we'll see if he can nah, get a okay. <laughs> fourth suited diamond hand. You said no. <laughs> Just not strong enough to call that monster bet, though, from uh, Bridge Mike there. What's going on, Sassy? She took part in our ladies' night game last Thursday. Looked like she had a good time with the ladies here in Dallas. 
I had a folder shot, so I was right in the middle. I didn't know which one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn card. Top two for Zfish, top and bottom for Benham, and an up and downer for JT. My goodness, you couldn't pick a better card in the deck for action. Full rainbow as well, so none of these players worried about any sort of flush coming in. It's just a matter of what does my opponent have? Long time ago, yeah. And it's another yeah. 10. So this card actually going to kill the action for Zfish. He improves to a full house, but now Benham counterfeit. Playing the 8 kicker, JT gets nothing from this. This bet on the small side here. Zfish uh, you know, making it look like he's blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Donate some money to uh, Zfish. Everybody's done that. <laughs> yeah, don't it, don't you write it off? Uh, yeah. yeah. He gives me a slip and everything. Really a fortunate card for, for Benham there. First 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 Thought he might raise there on the turn instead of electing to just call. So that that river card is pretty fortunate for him. JT sure is not folded yet. Okay. He's looking there at this tiny bet size as what it might be. Which is a possible just like busted draw of his own. Oh my god. <laughs> Denim is, he feels priced in. He's like, I block everything. Like, I don't know. How do you have anything here? So he does make the call. So Zfish does get paid. Wow. Yeah, you heard the ooze on the table because Benham showed the king five and said, I'm glad I didn't raise on the turn. <laughs> Absolutely. I guess I should do more like Carlos, you know, I should complain more often. I, I, I think it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then you just make the nuts. Exactly. $50 straddle, John says, under the gun, king, queen, oh, no good. Wow. No way, no. No way, no, he says. Yeah, two hands later, just nuts. Pure nut. <laughs> yeah. Seeing people full queen jack on the gun. Easy money. Free makes money. Sense. Free money. Wow, look at all this trash. Yeah, John's shaking his head. He's like, what did I do? What did you do, John? Free money. In that hand, he pretty much had the nuts. We're shutting down Dallas. Monday for the eclipse. It's funny because it's as like soon as we do this, and I think we've all done it in yeah, different stages yeah. of our poker career, the, uh, where you make a very tight fold, thinking, ah, you know, what are the chances that my hand would actually be best, and, or that I would find a way to win this? You know, you give yourself all kinds of excuses. I was out of position, or, you know, this tight player raised, or whatever. So you fold some big hand, and then you just see the way the hand plays out. You're like, oh my god, like I would have either made, like, made a a brilliant hand and won a monster uh, or like obviously no one else had anything and yeah. they would have all just folded like <laughs> it's I'm just excited. it's hilarious how the the post-mortem on those spots is just always like <laughs> yeah. you you totally messed up but in our heads we're constantly saying like come on put a put an ace out there so that my fold wasn't bad or like you know put something out there so that my fold wasn't bad <laughs> It's still cool. I love it. If you look at the shade from the trees and stuff, and yeah. you see, I have pictures on the phone. It's pretty cool. Check. Did you all have to be checked? Yeah. Ace 3-9. Pretty D7, dusty D7. flop for these holdings. Yeah, I brought glasses to the other DCH yeah. that day. I was out of the parking lot looking at it, like, loaning the glasses mm -hmm. out. And everybody at the table was like, guys, it's about to be a culture. You're going to see that. Everybody like, no, I'm like, losers. Bunch of gut shots. One open ender. And a pair of eights. The best hand. Best hand. I've never seen a total of books. 
AJ here to take a stab with his full-blown nada. And Venom going to look it up with that third pair. Let's go. Oh, he's got 10-8, so it's not quite 8-4. Yeah, yeah, However, <laughs> it is still third pair. And forgot, man. Well done, well done, Venom. You thought it was something, someone reasonable. Trust fund, guys. About 50-50 so far with winners and losers tonight. But the potential for some big pots. Could this be one? Let's see some pocket sevens here for Scott. Suited a little slick here for JT. Let's go. And Carlos with a double down. Blackjack hand. And what time is this Checks? It's 1.20 or 1.30 p.m. I think 1.20 p.m. Next Tuesday. Almost on the turn for everybody. Carlos now up and down. JT with a bad gut shot. Carlos with the only club. And he bet the turn, so he's going to fire the river, and he's going to get it through with seven high. Let's go. There you go. The man is not predictable. That is one thing we can certainly say. Yeah, I mean, I love betting there on turn and river. It takes I think me a minute he to played that very well. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I, I We're not think all porn actors like you. good recognition <laughs> of the uh, sort of weakness <laughs> of the opponent. <laughs> Somehow got me involved down. in this. <laughs> B-Pip there, uh, yeah, three players up in the <laughs> middling 40 percenter. I mean, Long John Silver go way back. Sorry, Long Dong Silver. <laughs> John C. Holmes. Have you ever eaten at a Long John Silver? Uh, I used to eat at Long John Silver's on the east side of Plano when I was a kid. There was one over there. And wasn't a big fan, but I would eat the hell out of those hush puppies that they had. Oh, God. Of all the things I could think of eating from a Long John Silver's, that's probably the least apple. Hush puppies. Don't know where they got their name. Wait, what? What? Don't know where they got their name, Hush Puppies. Shocking, actually. Oh. Uh, maybe a dog choked on one. And they were like, puppy I don't know. When your dog's barking, you just cram one down their throat. Hush dog. He's afraid. AJ here. I'm going to finish with two pair. And win it. Yeah, that is an odd name. So many things in so many different languages, but the English language in particular, uh, where you're just like, what is that? Uh, but no, the Long John Silvers it just always sort of horrified me. It's, it's just something about the idea of a fast food seafood place Right. that scared me. So I've never eaten there. I Like, I legitimately... I mean, I think I could take a lie detector test right now and be like, yeah, I've never eaten there. I may have once or something. I don't remember. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't go by choice. It was not a favorite of mine. Oh, but uh, the moms, the old Dottie, old Dottie, used to take us there and uh, make my sister and I eat Long John Silver's. Yeah, Mark, uh, we in the chat. What's going on, brother? That is the one. I mean, it survived this long. It used to be there when you were a kid, and it's still there. I mean, it's I don't know right if it's still somebody. there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a couple of restaurant chains that have not done well uh, as the city of Plano has exploded over the last 30 plus years. Uh, most of the Burger Kings have been closed down. Uh, a lot of other restaurants that were once staples are closed, including, I think, the Long John Silvers, but I could be wrong. But yeah, fast know, fast knows. food, uh, fish, never was a big, you know, I mean, I've never ordered a fish sandwich from a McDonald's, that's for damn sure. Uh, God See, bless you. I have, actually. That, that is the one, like, of all of the fast food fish 
things that are out yeah, there that I have not purchased is the fish mm. sandwich from I mean, it been, it been after. Been and I have no idea what they did to that fish <laughs> that, that like originally were swimming in the sea and that ended up in that sandwich. But it's it's not an unenjoyable situation. I don't know. There was a lot of uh, there was like a triple negative there, but uh, it was edible. They put enough tartar sauce and buttery bun, whatever, right, on it. Crispy fried outside. I mean, how, how could you not like that, right? Tartar. The tartar sauce. Turn flush draw here for AJ. It's going to be still top pair for Benham. Far and away the best hand. Z-Fish just kind of in there trying to make a hand by the turn, pick up some equity that he could uh, take this one away. But getting called by these opponents. Uh, he will be not long for the world. AJ is going to float nine high hearts out of position. Doesn't get there. What do you do now? <laughs> Guess check and give up. Venom will continue to go for value. but a little over half pot. Ten kicker not particularly inspiring. And what are you trying to get paid by? I guess just a seven? Maybe a good seven or pocket eights, pocket nine, something like that that could actually still be there. The thing is, I know you have shit, by the way. I just have less shit. It's a problem. But AJ is done with it. <laughs> AJ says he feels like Venom doesn't have anything, but he did have top pair there. Sturdy joining the chat. Says, I'm the Sturdy, not the Dirty Sturdy that was put on the stream when they changed his name a few weeks back. What's going on, Sturdy? And J. Nick somehow is still dealing, but is chatting as well. So <laughs> that's the 15-minute delay there. Heck of a job, as always, Mr. J. Nick. Get excited when we see you in the box. Know those cards are going to be coming out hot. here for Benham. Carlos also on a diamond flush draw. No one That's it. a pair outside of the aces on board. So it's a battle of the diamond draws. Jack on the turn. Changes nothing. Benham here. Way out in front. And he bombs it for just about pot. Can I, can I get a banana and uh, a bag of Doritos? Uh, yeah. Carlos floats it in position and pairs the four, of all things. If Benham <laughs> checks, and he does. Oh, my God. Carlos can win by showing down the four. Benham can't believe it. <laughs> Dodging bullets, baby. <laughs> wow. Sturdy with a little needle from beyond. Is his seat nine going to play a hand? When he gets dealt kings, he'll play. Rich yeah. Michael splash around maybe a little bit. V Pippin, uh, three out of 32 hands. He went up to 12% from the eight we saw him at, but it's now back down to 10. <laughs> Jay Tizzle. No, straddle for 50. Not. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something something happened there that we missed out on because pocket eights just got folded. I have no idea what's going on, but pocket eights just got folded by Venom from UTG1. Here we are with a raise and a three bet back to JT. He's got the ace king. Probably a misread on the eights. I can't imagine Benham right, ever that is pulling the eights, even if there was some sort of weird, like, try to straddle, try to raise at the same time from JT. Right. 
That is well, one of the Big seats. He announced all in, but he would already straddle. I don't know. What that is one of the on? seats that we've seen have misread issues in the past. The, the seat two. So we're going to hope that the eights weren't just open folded there. Yeah, uh, yeah, almost certainly not, right? So even if there was some sort of weirdness with JT and the straddle. AJ has effectively committed himself to calling this by raising as large as he did. So he's going to make this call, and he is in a bad way. It does still, of course, have about 30% equity, but 3,700 in the middle. He's going to need to find a jack or some spades, maybe a straight. You pick. I don't care. Uh, I always draw the one. And, and you're way the fuck ahead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we were doing one time? Yeah. You ask him once or twice, and I'll say one. They don't look like they're the same. No spades on the board. AJ drawing to a jack and a jack only. Doesn't get there. So that's how you would What did you have? Eight? Just heard Bidham say he had eights, so <laughs> there was something squirrely going on there, uh, possibly with JT. I don't know. Weird hand. Yeah, I think maybe there's been a, a commitment to putting the 50 on, but then he tried to raise all in or something. I know that there was some sort of confusion there, so maybe just letting the eights go makes a ton of sense. Maybe And maybe AJ missed it, too, because with the King Jack suited, knowing that there's a guy in the straddle that's trying to rip his stack in. Exactly. you don't want to raise. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but as it stands, yeah, AJ Benham, gets double. Benham had to know that coming back around, it was going to get going to get big and just said to hell with it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so Z Fish leading the way up 5,500. Rich Mike up a cool two grand, even though he's played with only three hands. Uh, Scott up several trips to Taco Bell, Long John Silvers, and or any other decrepit front down restaurant. Uh, AJ down the most, stuck four. That's not why I don't want to tell you. Oh, no, you, you got me chilled. It worked. Yeah. Still the monkey plays, you know, awesome plays. Uh, okay. Oh, you all right. Well, yeah, let us know in the chat what you're making for dinner or what you've already consumed for dinner, as we've already got the making of a chat extravaganza yeah. about what we're eating. We got Reina right with the club sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Some chickpeas, spinach, nine, onions, and so. garlic rolls. No, but I'm just sweet. Uh, you are. Let's go. I'll, I'll give you five to one on that. I'm ready to dig into some Taco Bell. This is my usual Tuesday night one. Come on. All right. First uh, hour and 45 in, so we're going to do a PLO flip. Dude, what are you doing? Donald Davis says it's pizza night. All right. I'm going to run out. No flush, no straight possibilities. East King King showing. It looks like we've got a full house. Yes, we do. Call that a good investment. Full house over there good for investment. Scott. He's going to ship this one. Boat. But every time JD loses, you're going to get a tip. Wow. That should be an Send him back to Paris, man. How close is I think it's good. Wow, Mitchell also eating super healthy. Chicken salad, pita chips, broccoli, and squash. My goodness. There's a first round. Savaging the vegetables. Long champ, long yeah. <laughs> JD here, fresh off of getting needled <laughs> and <laughs> encouraged to lose, is going to open the ace 8 0 from UTG, certainly outside of the norm. But Scott going to wake up with the bullets on the button. Going to pounce to over 3x. And JD's like, uh, yeah, no, I don't do this very often, and I'm wow. not going to do it again. 
That's what they look like. Nick game is in effect, so it makes me sense to uh, try to spice it up a little bit. Except the queens, by the way. I've seen five. I'm not happy with that result. Now, Chop with this ass, I mean, this is uh. Yeah, he hasn't seen a pair, and he's gone to the bathroom twice. It's a $12 set of lunch. Chicago and Supreme. That was a good one. Wait, what is, what is a Chicago? Supreme so indicates that you're talking about <laughs> toppings. Chicago, is that is that a toppings situation? Chicago style was like a crust style. But I don't know. I've been off of the stuff for a while. I've been a pizza guy for quite a while. In fact. The last time I personally ordered a pizza, me, myself, and I, probably four years. Zero respect. Been that long? Maybe not that long. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Maybe three years. What do you want to do? That's disrespectful. We'll go through. I think whichever part of the chicken it is, Reina, you'll be able to uh, make something good out of. Jake Lizzy, chicken thighs are the best. I agree. I am a huge fan of dark meat. Let me know in the chicken, in the chicken, in the chat. Oh, my God. Words are hard here on TCH Live. Let me know in the chicken chat. Uh, drop a one for white meat. Drop a two for the dark meat. Which one do you prefer? I know which one I do. You dropping a deuce for that dark meat. Dark meat in the house for me, too. Oh man, it's so good. Juicy, tender. Got hashtag, hashtag moist. Uh, yes. So moist. Uh, John H here, three betting into the Red Ladies of 600. We see Fish here, who was getting a little bit out of line, and the cutoff is like, okay, well, this didn't work out. Bridge Mike, Ace 5 suited, Paul Fold, and JT, understandably, Paul Fold. John's going to show the ladies, gets rid of the button. Bill James dropping a deuce. Donald Davis dropping a, a number one. You can have all the white meat you want. Justin also dropping the one. Like, don't get me wrong. I will eat white meat chicken. But I far and away prefer dark meat. He's adding five more. See that again? Yeah. Oh, this is six. Six, five, Mark Wee loving the chicken tongues. I'm going to uh, let you have the chicken tongues, my friend. I don't think I've ever eaten a chicken tongue. I certainly have never eaten a chicken tungas. Tungas. <laughs> a couple of, couple of extra, well, one extra U in there. But, uh, <laughs> I haven't, haven't eaten a tunga or a tongue. Um, I do enjoy chicken gizzards, though. And I do enjoy a back raise with the uh, pocket aces there. Three bet. Yeah, not quite a back raise as yeah. in the big blind, but it's going to raise nonetheless. As B fish here, tired of folding, going to stick around with the ace five zero and ace high board one time for Jay Diggles. Oh my God. What is happening right now? The case ace peels off. Z-Fish here floating with a super dusty hand with the knit button, uh, the knit game in effect, and a straight E, flush E, draw E board. Z-Fish has a five, which isn't necessarily a great card for him as far as JD's bluffing range goes. Some five, six suited could potentially do this from time to time, but um, 
JD can't believe it. He's like, I just got raised on this board with top set. And you don't see a ton of three betting on flops, but this is kind of the spot to do it. You really don't want to just call and give your opponent the ability to check back and turn. But JD is going to just call. So many bad turn cards, and your opponent can always just check back if they don't get the card they wanted. It's aces full, though, top vote for JD, and it really doesn't get any better than that. Seafish with a ton of incentive here to just get to showdown, but there's a couple of flush draws to go with the flop straight draw. So also some incentive to potentially charge those draws, but he's going to check. He's going to run out the backdoor clubs, and the 6-9 gets there. Of course, there shouldn't be any 6-9 in JD's. Three betting from the big line range. Seafish does not control the ace of clubs. Potentially a significant aspect. Check, check, oh check. no, JD checks, <laughs> hoping that Zfish will wow. bet. Look at that. And wow. somehow Zfish only gets charged one bet. Wow, wow, wow. That is unbelievable. Yeah, great, great value there. <laughs> <laughs> JD can't believe that Seafish would have an ace. He's got three of them. <laughs> wow, what a hand. And here we go, immediately. Aces for Scott, are you kidding me? We've had aces in like three out of the last four hands. Seafish. <laughs> Don't you dare see an ace high flop with this hand. Mark Wee is ready to give them both nip buttons. For I like it, Mark. Hand was <laughs> I like it. Give them both a nip. <laughs> oh, Scott's got to be throwing up in his mouth right now. He opens from early position, gets called four ways. We're going to see a flop with five players. And... 10, 8, 7, the most Tens. amazing flop you've ever seen if you have aces. Of course, it's bottom set for John and top pair for AJ. Not a whole lot going on for the rest of these players. And Scott does wisely just check, probably with the intention of checking and calling. However, we just check all the way through. Five of clubs on the turn. It's a lead now from John. AJ calls. Scott calls. Other players can get out of the way, and we're going to go three players to a river. John H. well out in front. And the four only going to seal additional damage here for AJ as he's now got top and bottom pair. It is a one-liner to a straight, however, so perhaps John going to go for the smaller size here. And indeed he is. Less than one-third. I think AJ can certainly make a call here. He beats some value, right? You can imagine something like 8-7 doing this. Maybe ace-10. Oh my goodness, he just folds it. He doesn't even care. Two pair my ass. Get out of there. Scott, though. He's going to pay this off. Jesus. Who's going to get aces uh, next hand, Eric? What do you think? I don't know, but Zfish is probably going to have an ace in his hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that board, like, I think that's right. Very glad uh, the case ace did not hit on that flop because Zfish probably going to lose a little more than he did with the ace five. Yeah, or just like ace queen seven or something stupid where he just gets omega red. I want to see Bridge Mike play a hand, so I'm going to say he's going to be the one with the aces. <laughs> Yeah, well, that. he yeah, has gotten rid of his nip button. He has. Uh, Zfish has not. <coughs> EJ, who paid out the first round of the nip game, is still in there. 
and there's only two of them left. So AJ needs to uh, needs to make something happen. Raise, raise 100. It shows Bridge Mike is having his nip button. It, it, did I just miss that? Is that lurking somewhere? I guess it must be. Just nips. Wait, no, his is gone. Yeah, I don't see did he it. eat it? Where did it go? Yeah, no, I think he <laughs> Did he eat gone. it? Well, I don't know. It's not on the felt or anywhere near his chip, so. I know. What a, a flop here. Assumption. Check, check. God, how did how did we see a flop this many players? I don't know, but it is going to be the flop middle set for John. Venom with the top pair checks to him in the cutoff. He bets 300. And does anyone else even have anything? No, it looks like just middle pair was as good as it gets. JT's out of there. We're heads up. Venom who probably thinks he's got a very strong holding here. He's now going to have wow. top and bottom pair with the queen kicking. Yeah, I mean, you got to go for more value. Charge the spade flush draw, maybe the queen jack, queen 10, jack 10. Sort of uh, spades, hearts combination. We got any nine that may have just called you out of the small blind there. What a what a back to back sets for John. John though not gonna raise here. Definitely think he's missing out on an opportunity. Five of hearts is gonna come in. John not raising on flop or turn. Yeah, he just he has to check and hope that Benham has a strong enough hand to bet. Ooh. And Benham's gonna go for it. So I mean well played John in so far as him getting all in, praise, all in. this to happen. Yeah, I think I think Benham here he missed an opportunity to get bailed out by just checking back the river. Backdoor hearts come in. You can imagine it's unblocking the queen jack, the queen ten, the jack ten of hearts. But those hands are going to stick around, and he's going to off the shoes. No, no, I have one. Check raise, y'all in. John there winning a nice one. He's up over 10k now, and he's leading the way up 3,700. Never have it. No weeks, no sets. Bang, bang. <laughs> Raise 150. Call 150. All right, raised to 150. JD, Texas with Carlos and Zfish make the call. Zfish here trying to stick AJ with the Nick penalty one more time. Check. He is going to break the clock. Bet 125. Not going to give JD an opportunity to continue, though on the nine high board. He's gonna lead straight into it. And Carlos with no reason to continue. AJ, can pay this out twice in a row. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he says sorry. <laughs> AJ is the knit for the second time. Yeah, and AJ can't really believe it. I mean, he's not the guy. You three in a row, AJ, you get banned forever. Stuck in his spot. <laughs> no, three in a row, you give away your you let Micah it. toss those $100 chips around. Shout out to Micah in the box there. I think this is the first time I've seen him on the stream. Thank you, AJ. Wow, look at that bridge Mike be pip. 21%. Let's go. I'll take a walk. I've never seen you this discipline, AJ. 
It's good to know you got all the gears, you know. <laughs> Sam's, you got Sam's, all the gears. You know? Sam's been talking to you about your yeah, plan. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pass, but no. <laughs> Sam's coaching you up a little bit. Rather, Sam's coaching you up quite a bit, I think. That's what's going on. Oh, my God, no. JD with a little needle there telling him AJ has never seen him. So disciplined. Of course, AJ is down 5K, so. Like. Yeah, he's been mixing it up, just hasn't had the right opportunities, oh, and the Nick perfect, game has just perfect. not gone his yeah. way. Perfect. I have his, 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 yeah, his Nick game hasn't gone his way. He uh, also this, got into that weird one on again. Everything too. His snap uh, get up right at the same time every day. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, 9 JT, boom, he's up. right, like, with that like, weird oh, straddle oh, slash whatever the heck happened there situation. King Jack against the Ace King. So he lost about 3K, a little bit more, 3,700, something like that on that hand. As we've got a battle of seven high versus eight high, neither player going to attack <laughs> and Seafish win. Wow, thank God, no heart. Yeah, I guess so. Can you break that, please? That would be nice. Oh my God, piece of animal. Here's an idea. Instead of having to pay everyone out for the Nick, oh, yeah. oh, that's amazing. you have to eat $20 worth of Lonzo on Silver. Going into a JD's top 10, man, he turns I don't, I don't know if uh, inflation has made Long John Silver's prices, you know. Yeah, but I know back in the day, 20 bucks was a lot of food from Long John Silver's. <laughs> wow. He was thinking it was going to slam in that river. It's right, seafood, was, though, man, right? It's got to be lot, more expensive. Yeah, yeah a lot time, of hush puppies bullshit, that right? would have been back in the day. <laughs> one time, that's some bullshit. <laughs> no value. I do that's think that there's Jack something Jack sort of just really engaging and enjoyable about having a game like the Nick game have a penalty that isn't just like everyone else wins but like the person that loses like really loses like yeah now you have to eat like twenty dollars worth of long john silver like i mean imagine someone sitting at this table right now with twenty dollars worth of long john silver in front of them, and they have to eat it all before like the next orbit or something you know like or else i don't know they they have to eat another twenty dollars i mean whatever you know right like just really punish somebody with something that horrifying I mean, this is more I've talked about Long John Silver's in the last than I have in the last 20 years. <laughs> right here tonight has me Googling the locations. There is a Long John Silver's not far from TCH, and the one in Plano on Parker, just east of 75, Mark Wee, is still there. You might have to take that along. You yeah. too. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't want to eat $20 worth of that, dude. Mark's going to have to take me on a Long John Silver's date. That's all there is to it. You know, next time he stacks me, I'm at least rewarded with hush puppies. That's me. That's me. That's me, I promise. AJ with the top pair. He's not going to be losing this one, most likely. He's talking about that. You want a hand, AJ? The way the way are going. Why would I say that? So we're thinking about the hand You're back. I may be aging myself too. Do you remember the comedian on Saturday Night Live, Tim Meadows, who played the ladies' man? Oh yeah. Ladies' man. Do you remember that? I may recognize the sketch if I saw. They actually had a movie that came out with that character, the ladies' man, and he would say, "Uh, yes. Could I interest you in a fish sandwich?" <laughs> 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 so every time I hear fish sandwich, I oh, think about the ladies' so man. Yeah. He was like a pimp radio <laughs> DJ with a, who had a lisp, and he was they could have, ladies, could I interest you in a fish sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> and that is a terrible impersonation. I apologize, all those who are listening. I will never do that again. No, I from from what I just heard that uh, you know it, it inceptioned a memory in me about that <laughs> show that I probably never saw. So it's, I think uh, he did a great it's not job. Brandon anymore. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I remember we talked about. Yeah, and our went to showdown numbers are still at 100% for every player. Uh, so we will continue to work on that one. As we know, these players have not taken every hand to showdown. Will we? I say we. I, I wish you and I had control over that. But it's neither here nor there. What? What you want to play the two seven? No, yeah, I'll, I'll play the two seven. No, it's his. You said he wanted to play the two seven. 
but I asked, uh, uh, asked Mallory to look at the possibly this fight here instead. You have no idea. We are ripping out some hands tonight, though. Uh, barely two hours in. Hand 65. Yeah, we are moving. That is for sure. I, I, we had a couple of big all-ins early on. You would sort of expect that to lead to a lot of people matching the stack and building things up and playing a lot more deep stack, you know, multi-street poker. But, man, it has, yeah, just been kind of rapid fire pace here as we get an 8 4 king flop. Uh, top pair 9 kicking for Bridge Mike and not much else here for his opponent. So checks to him. He'll fire out 250. That's all she wrote. I'm a heater. bucks to the Get him any way you can, right? All right, Scott up a couple of trips to Long John Silvers. Everyone else up or down we'll substantially Mike, more you know, than you know. that. Carlos, about 1K, yeah, Bridge Mike, and JD, about 2. Z Fish and John up over 3K. AJ Benham, both stuck just about a buy-in or a little bit more. So 65 hands in. We've definitely seen some swings, but honestly, most of the damage done pretty early on. After that, it's been relatively modest movement, up or down. And kind of a lot of this sort of garbage getting folded. Yeah, not often do we see six players in the green there, in the positive uh, in these games. Lovely hand here for Benham <laughs> in the small blind he's King Suter. Three X's is the button open. And just takes him down. A 50 was in there. You know, we've talked so much about Long John Silver. Okay. That um, I'm curious if we even have one here in Austin. I legitimately cannot remember driving past one at any point over the last like five years. I thought you had a really good hand when you flashed. I'm gonna look up and see if we even have. Got to got to be a random one out in the burbs somewhere. Wow, we have several in Austin. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, it's not like they're all over the place, but there's an A&W slash Long John Silvers. Um, I don't know that I've ever eaten at one of those A&W places either. Oh, see, I've been to an A&W when, when I was a kid, for sure, because uh, the uh, root beer float, that was the jam. The burger was very much just like going to Dairy Queen or something for a burger. It was like nothing. You know? I mean, it's like really right. thin patty. It was just like... Yeah, infinitely really cooked in beyond all recognition of being really anything oriented and not great. But uh, now the uh, NW Root Beer Float, pretty fantastic. Okay, so we have one location that's like sort of Austin proper, and outside of that, it's kind of like really not very many around. So it makes sense why I haven't ever seen one. <laughs> But is it poker or is it something else that it's really Raise really 150. Cool. No. Macau, poker. This is. Yeah, when you go to the. It's yeah. all 150. It's all 150. A raise to 150 from Benham and a call from JD with the King Jack. Zfish going to come along with the Queen Jack. AJ came along as well with the 3 4 suited. So let's see if we can get a little something going on this hand. <laughs> yeah, it's all big or small, it's, so it comes middle. <laughs> We're just whiffing on these flops. Check. Check around. He's probably been in a lot of collection cases and <laughs> seen all kinds of shit. Z fish 
two overs, gut shot, and a big club able to take that one away. That's where that parrot comes from. Huh? <laughs> Still do have three players with over 10K in their stack, so the potential is there. We just not have have not had the right flops with some of these holdings to get it going. And just like that, here is a American Airlines sighting. A couple of nines for Benham as well. So he makes the call AJ suited one, excuse me, suited double he still gapper. Ball moment there. He's going to make the call. Five suited. Yeah, I'm getting Honestly, in there probably for that good price, enough. right? Yeah. I, I think King Five Suited there, it's not a bad call. It does let it go. If it's a pile of clubs out there, it might be kicking himself a little bit. But nine in the window actually saves himself a lot of money as he would have made the top pair no kicker up against the bottom set for Benham. Yeah, you can bet behind on people. And JT checking this board. He's going into pot control mode with only 2,900 behind, perhaps even setting himself up for a check back raise. But no, it's a check call as Z-Fish is in there with the top pair jack kicker and a gut shot. A deuce here would have sort of, you know, really bricked this out. Eight shouldn't it's change so that much. Like Queen Jack was already like there. Here, there are yeah. some combos of maybe like yeah. 10, 8 yeah. suited, I yeah. guess. Yeah. 10, 8 of hearts is one of the, I mean, it's really the I only one. I can't think of much else that has an eight in there. it, but Jack 8, I suppose. Still yeah. not ahead of the yeah. set of nines by any stretch of the imagination. 675, a tiny little bet here. I mean, this is one third pot in position into two opponents. Sort of begging the uh, pair in a gut shot or flush draw, naked flush draw, just like these four hearts. It's like, come on, man, stick around. Z-Fish makes the call. Jay folds the aces. Folds the aces. Says this board is too coordinated. These guys are in there. There's no chance I'm good. It's another 10 on the end. Completes the front four flush. Benham boats it up, though. He's like, please, Jesus, let Z-Fish have <laughs> the nizzles. Uh, excuse me, the, not the nizzles, but the, uh, the nut flush. He is going to bomb it for 2x pot all in. Not quite two on spot, but uh, close enough. Over one and a half, let's see. Seafish going to get a count. I mean, I think at this point he's just kind of trying to understand if there's ever a bluff hand that he beats. Not really contemplating a call, I think. I mean, his hand, he's got no heart. He has just the one pair. He beats something like ace-queen. Ace-queen and ace-jack. Like, that's what he beats. There's just pretty much nothing else. Ace-queen with the ace of hearts. Ace-jack with the ace of hearts, right? That's what he beats. He's got a jack. He's not going to call, is he? He's setting it up here. I mean, Benham has ripped it all in. Like, th this looks bluffy. I mean, he's either got it or he doesn't. So it doesn't really matter if Z-Fish has a king or a 10 or, right? Like, he, he would love to have some removal, anti-removal. And by that, I mean he would probably like to have a heart. He would probably not like to have an ace. I don't know, man. Um, and then, like, the queen and the jack are kind of whatever. And does he go all in with just a random queen jack that isn't oh, a flush? Nice, 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 nice. Maybe nice. if he has, like, a queen of hearts. Nice. You're about to go to the airport. Oh. It doesn't really matter because he does settle on the fold. It's good enough for him. Then I'm still with 60 in the I think that's good luck. 
Didn't show. Yeah, always... Sorry, what? He didn't show, so. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think that's I think that's good. I don't think absolutely. But um, yeah, no. It, in one of these spots, when someone goes for a big over bet, they're basically saying that they have nothing or they have everything, right? And this is something that we've seen a lot more of. It has become much more of a mainstream thing. I even see sometimes like the old man coffees doing this huge big over bets, and you know it's just everything or nothing, right? Like, yeah. They're just not doing it with like middle pair or. Um, bottom two pair or something like it just it just doesn't feel right to do it with those sorts of holdings now are people capable of mixing in some some other hands when it comes to this these sorts of spots like doing what you know from a classical perspective considered a merge where you take a hand that you know could get called by a worse hand if you make it look like a bluff because they don't give you credit for that middling strength hand they think you've either got it all or none of it. So they'll call you even lighter than what you have. I mean, that's it's a possibility, but you really think people are you know, doing that all the time. It's kind of tough to construct that range. Scott here and JD both hitting the top pair, and this is a pretty nasty spot for Scott unless he can find a uh, sort of bailout. The immediate one, of course, being at 10. The other options were a board pair and an ace, but he's not going to get that. Ball from JD in position with a superior kicker, and it is the front door flush coming in. Checky, checky, though. JD will show down the queen kicker. Yeah, indeed. And going back to that last hand, you know, we talked about Bidham not showing his hand there, even though these guys know each other well. I, I like that, you know, the table dynamic is, is there between all these players that because Bidham didn't show, you know, JD is needling from us on the other side of the table saying, he bluffed the F out of you, you know, which when people start talking about, oh, I know what that guy had and you're the one who had to make that tough fold. You know, it gets in your head a little bit sometimes, too, if you let it, you know, when, when everybody at the table is telling you, oh, you should have called, you know, so. Good job by Benham to not show that hand. Don't want to give out that information. And maybe it'll come into play later if he's in another hand against Z-Fish. Yeah, I mean, one thing is definitely true that when you have these really big spots, right? Like he shoves for like 1.7x pot, his opponent tanks, and then folds, right? Like if you do just have like a full-blown air ball that you got it through with, the incentive is there to show it down and get everybody to sort of pat you on the back and chirp at your opponent and all that stuff, right? So when he does just muck it, it kind of feels like you probably just had to have it. So, you know, the flip side of what you're saying, which I agree, absolutely agree with what you just said, but, you know, the flip side is kind of like there's almost some information given by him not showing the hand there. Whereas if it was a more standard spot where it's like he bets two-thirds on the river and he either had it or didn't, and it, but whatever. Like, you just fold and he mucks. Like, the, the gravity isn't there as much for whether he showed it or not. Um, but, I, I mean, I think it's a good fold from Z. For sure. Though, right? I mean, King Jack with no heart, like, your hand just doesn't have good properties. Like, you can just let it go. Even if your opponent is just, like, all or nothing, right? Like, you need to fold some hands. So... Why not let the King Jack black black let it go? 10 10 9 here. Pretty decent flop bridge, Mike. As uh, Jay going to go ahead and bet the two pair ace kicker. And bridge Mike, rather than check raise, uh, he is going to check raise. Never mind. He cuts out the calling chips and then puts the additional juice on top whilst covering his face. That's enough to get Jay out of there. Another quick shout out here for the upcoming Poker Atlas Tour down at TCH in Houston. Kicking off in just about one week from today, April 10th through the 22nd. 
16 events with over a million dollars in guarantees for these tournament payouts. The main event, of course, what everybody's looking forward to, I believe it's an 1100, 500k guaranteed tournament. Really looking forward to that one. My plan is to be down there in Houston. So if any of y'all are thinking about playing one of these local series, do indeed put it on the calendar, plan on going down to Houston, playing at Texas Card House for over a million dollars in guarantees. 500K guaranteed for the main event, I do believe. I'll have to pull that up just to confirm, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're working on. I don't watch as much porn as you think I look like I watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> the random things we catch on the audio. Oh, Jesus. Call 150, isn't it? Working man hands. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, not sure about the uh, hotels around that area off West Timer. I know there's a bunch of them. You might be able to call the TCH Houston location and see if there's any discounted rates uh, for being uh, that you're playing in that series because there will be a lot of people coming in from out of town. Uh, so feel free to contact the TCH Houston location and see if there's some hotels in the area that might be offering some discounted rates uh, during that series. All right, so it is indeed a 500K guarantee, $1,100 buy-in tournament. That is the main event that is going to run from the 17th through the 22nd of April. Uh, the opening event, though, the Payday Mystery Bounty, 250K guarantee, $600 buy-in, Mystery Bounty. Everybody loves a Mystery Bounty. Nice. All right, Scott raises it to 150 from the cutoff. JT here in the big blind for the East Jack suit. He's going to raise it up. Has not reloaded, so sitting on a fairly meager stack, all things considered, putting a big chunk of his remaining chips out there. Stack to pot ratio, just about one and a half. Does get called by the fives, and oh, middle set for the fives. JT kind of brick this board pretty hard. Tiny little tickle here from Scott, and Jay is going to make the call. So some dangerous turn cards, a queen, a ten, a heart, heart. an ace or a jack, of course, could also get him. All in, it's going to be a snap, of course. <coughs> Jay's not dead, but run at one time, needs a heart. Oh, but it's, a, it's the wrong heart. Full house. It's the wrong heart. He's getting slow rolled. Did you think you lost, Kat? Oh, because you go runner, runner, what the fuck? Slow roll. Fuck, that was brutal. God damn. That's some chess savage. I have been in that spot. Ace high flush on the river just to find out that your opponent's sitting on a boat. Running back. <laughs> Yeah, un <laughs> unclear exactly what happened there, but uh, understandable to me a little bit. Yeah, that so that one. Nice pot for South Park Tweak there. I got a shot. You got a shot. Right? Yeah. Although it ended up costing you all of it. Yeah. There you go. Just like that, JD <laughs> is the one the at the bottom exactly. of the V pips. That's definitely not normal. I will put some money on JD not being at the lowest V pip by the time the night is over. Yeah, J JT was not raising 2,000 there with those two blue chips. He's just getting changed from Carlos here. 
As he reloaded. There we go, going three ways to a flop here. How about some clubs for John H. here? Middle pair, gut shot, backdoor clubs for JD. Top pair for J JT here. Everybody's got something. <laughs> JT with a much needed win there. 310 in profit going his way. Another reminder, two days from now is ladies' night here in Dallas. Ladies, come in Thursday nights, 5 p.m. to midnight. When you buy two hours, you get two hours free. You can do that twice a night. Complimentary wine and beer, obviously, uh, will be going on. Come on out. We had a great showing uh, last week. Hope to see more ladies out. Another battle here, maybe, between Scott and Jay. <clears throat> yeah, chunky open here, $100 straddle on. Just an open to 500. Scott's like, uh, everybody just get out of my pot real quick. But Jay says, nah, nah. Hope you guys are rewarded next. Yeah. That's got it. Real soon. No sets on this one. Over pair for Scott. Wow. How about a jam? Is that real life? That is real life. He said all Ian ski. I mean, this feels weird, but you have to ask yourself, mm. like, is your opponent ever doing this with just, like, ace-king? Jay shows the seven of clubs. Like, I mean, this board isn't terrible for me, but well, it's actually just bad. bailed out. I mean, let's be honest. Like, pocket sevens with the seven of clubs is putting another bet in there if it's not an all-in over bet. So Scott could have gotten some value. And instead, just bullies his opponent off of what marginal value he had and just takes it down right there and there. It's something you see a lot in tournaments as well. Players that um, they sort of have a perceived vulnerability with their strongest hands. <laughs> and yeah. just kind of like, well, I'd, I'd rather not lose than I would win a little bit more, you know? Like, I, right. would, I would rather than risk the chance that I get called and see a bad turn card that makes me feel uncomfortable or perhaps even loses me the hand um, in the worst-case scenario. Like, I would rather just go all in and make you fold everything, even the hands I could get value from. Because that, you know, sort of makes me feel more comfortable. You see that a lot in tournaments. Check, check. Do see a lot of people playing the the tens and jacks the the way that Scott played that too. You know, big bets. Uh, you know, no ace, no king on the flop. Hammer it again. Huge. Maybe not an all in like that, but you know, just get out of my pot. Don't want to see any more cards, kind of thing. Yeah. And I mean, and let's be honest too. I mean, there's there's some aspect of that play that is baked into the uh, fundamentals of the strategy too. Um, I'm not saying again that uh, that the all in is the play there, but 
Um, you know, something that you'll see a, a solver do when you give it a... Uh, obviously, everything comes down to position and stack size, but, you know, give the solver pocket nines on an eight high board in a single raised pot. Like, they're raising, or excuse me, they're yeah. continuation betting for the large size all the, always. I'd get it up because front, eight high boards are really, really good for you. Like, this is, this is your time to shine. If you can bet big, you're going to get your opponent to fold all of their overcard equity, which is great for you. And if they do continue, it's probably because they have some sort of one pair holding that you're beating. So it's like the best of both worlds. So it does make sense to bet big, but you, you I mean, you know, there, there's a difference between betting big in order to try to get value and fold out equity as opposed to betting so big that you literally fold out everything, even the stuff that would have given you some value. But, uh, forget about all that because we've got JD on the bullets. What's the Red Aces, three betting on the button. <laughs> Little Jack Link's uh, mystery hand here for AJ. Got a Jack and something. Unless he's got two jacks, this is a really bad flop for AJ. And my guess is that this is a bad flop for him as he did not go for the re-raise pre-flop. Check and call of the one-third continuation here. 1265 now in the middle. Front door spade draw completes on the turn. Something told me that was going to happen. It did. JD, two red aces. Definitely a spot where he can check back or continue something like 500 and then reevaluate on the river. But he's going to check it back now. I do like this. It gives him the best opportunity to pick off his opponent's bluffs. Also, when he faces this check on the river, he can continue to go for value without fearing the flush too much. King Jack definitely within the realm of possibility for AJ. Does check this river. JD though, slam dunk value bet situation. Something to the tune of 750 makes a lot of sense. He's gonna go for 800. And he does not have aces. He's got ace jack. And he thought he lost. Wow. So, total mystery <laughs> there. We apologize for that. We were all a little bit in mystery. I think it was. It must have been Queen Jack, right? I mean, AJ snaps his hand over so quickly, yeah. showing off basically that he had something. And I mean, who knows? The, the whole hand was misread. We didn't actually get a good view of it. Unless somebody in the chat can go back and rewind, and maybe there was a brief moment where it was flashed on camera, but uh, Ace Jack, good. JD wins. Like, nice. <laughs> Who knows what actually happened there. <laughs> yeah, got to imagine it's a, you know, a suit of Jack-10 or, like you said, Queen Jack. I think Jack-10 would have been too fair. I, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like it was Queen Jack. No, it wasn't too fair. It was, it was all small cards until the king hit. But. Oh, you're right, you're right. King Jack was the only two, uh, big two pair that makes sense. You're right, you're right. Wow, and aces again this time? Well, at least with the screen's <laughs> showing us aces. Maybe actual aces? It would appear with that bet. This is a true read. Yeah, four bet city here, JD on the eight. Venom with 6k behind, I think the implied odds are just about good enough to stick around. JD agrees, makes a call. 2300 in the middle, stack to pot ratio, not quite three. This is always kind of the, the weird in-between territory. You know you're going to brick so many flops with eights, even in position, that it's just really hard to to win. I mean, equity realization is massive in four bet pots. And eights are just not going to realize their equity very often. So 
he does decide to go ahead and make the call. Doesn't have a diamond, and this flop super sucks. So even the tiny little continue of less than okay. one third, I'm, I'm very easy which to I forget. really yeah. appreciate. I think Venom has picked the right sides the here. Um, just probably going to force JD to, to release. His cards, correct? <laughs> As he I, does. Um, I'm not going to dignify that with the response, <laughs> sir. There's the sleazy E nickname comes from, buddy. Can't help it sometimes. And LV Good. Coleman saying evening all. Smash that like button. Appreciate you. I only I did it twice, I think, right? <laughs> AJ here having a rough night of it, down 7,700. Jay down yeah. just about a buy-in as <laughs> well. Venom also it stuck, but not quite as much. <laughs> oh, These shit. are the three players that have <laughs> really? successfully sure. lost money. Right. Just Here's wild seeing six people, you know, <laughs> up really, I mean, almost close to 1,000 or more two and a half hours in to our stream. Carnage is really uh, just a couple of people who have uh, taken a, be me. <laughs> a beat here so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had the two red ones. Yeah, I was being pre-rolled. Five players to a flop, and yeah, top trips for both Venom and Bridge Mike. <laughs> Pretty wow. nasty spot. Gut shot for Scott. Ball 150. But Bridge Mike is in the danger zone here. Both these, players, both these players super deep China. as well. Stack pot ratio oh, over 10 for these players. Bet of 150 and just a call, so perhaps a chance that this pot doesn't balloon up to an all in situation. Like then I brought them back and I just like had some and then like within like yeah, 300. three months. Three, four months. Yeah, it's crazy. Venom feels like he's got so much of this, he's just going to tech call Bridge Mike. Or excuse me, he's just going to bet small. Bridge Mike check calls, and there's an ace on the end. Full house for Venom. Donk lead small from Bridge Mike. This is very awkward, but he's going to get raised. And how big does Venom go? He's got to go huge. Oh, he keeps it small. He goes 16. Like the first Nintendo. He brought us a Chinese one. Rich Mike loses to King out. Queen. He loses and to 9 8. Right. Of course, a whole bunch of yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. pocket so sevens, and pocket tens, whatever. Yeah, that never Jack here, but, whatever. But, but still, like, we got, like, I mean, he's trapping like, like, the whole way. Bridge Mike is trapping. <laughs> <Now> <laughs> Absolutely. He finally bets. He finally bets. And he decides to bet tiny, 400. And he gets raped. Yeah, when he chins in whenever I bought him, like, it was like, I forget what it's called right now, but it was a. Side of there's an area of Shenzhen, which is like the like. This is like this is like when Carlos just calls <laughs> and checks and calls, like checks and calls. Right, it's like he's got this super yeah. strong yeah. hand yeah. that yeah. nobody yeah. thinks he can have, yeah. Everything. Yeah. but so it's still want, really yeah. ugly yeah. by the river. So like, what do you do yeah. when yeah. you're yeah. that guy who has the very disguised hand? Like, look through all the catalogs. Like, you have to have the store. They're like, oh, I get it. I get it. They get it to you in five minutes. I'll be right back. And then like some guy goes running. I mean, if he gets away from this, he's so fortunate that he. Played this it, trappy uh, and then and somehow I, also yeah, convinced himself to pull. Like, if somebody wants some shit, like, I, would, I can get my, my girls up and yeah. they'll just like, one day later, they'll send me a picture and it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, you know, like, it doesn't fucking like, matter. It's like, yeah, no, you, you, you hit them all up and they only like have like WeChat and they're just like, hey, hit me yeah, on WeChat. Exactly. And then they'll just like message me on WeChat and yeah. I'll just chip it to you. Like, exactly. yeah. okay. feel like he's convinced himself yeah. to so get away from it, but keeps thinking. Might yeah, have changed his mind here. I mean, it, yeah, the question, of course, is the first like, what is like your opponent ever boys. bluffing? Like, 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 it was like so many shots in different doors and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well like, you just stuff. Like, I got he the timer, like, didn't put it there. It goes okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a little weird. That was the weirdest thing. This whole hand is the assemble the, the call and then not actually put it in, but he does not, but finally settle on the call, yeah, and like, really then I'm going to win a nice $4,500 pot. Yeah. 
God, that could have been all the chips. Like, could have been that huge. Or at least, like, check raise flop, bomb turn, check river your opponent bets, and now you've got it. Right? But yeah. Like, Instead, it was a check turn, Venom bet small, and he calls. Just flat calls. Didn't re raise, didn't check raise there. And then Donk leaves the river. Tiny yeah. <laughs> Like if you're gonna if you're gonna suddenly like snap the trap close on this guy, don't you bomb the river? If you're gonna donk lead, I don't know. I mean that's the only thing that makes sense to me. It's sort of like a texture changing card comes that your opponent doesn't necessarily have the most favorable uh, range for. Yeah, you've got the king in your hand, right? You, you come you come and just smack him in the face and be like, "What are you gonna do? Ace of spades on the river, bro? I just blasted you for pop." But like, that yeah, was four hundred. I also have retail stores here, but but mainly I do like manufacturing for like Passion Nova. Imagine if you would have found the fold. That would have been incredible, but uh, no chance you can fold after the way that was played. Bottom pair and a gutty for Bridge Mike on this one. Bottom pair and better kicker turns into. Yeah, they, they, they can find anything. It's incredible. Two oh, yeah. pair for AJ. I had some clothes like Taylor made when I was there, and they were, you know, it's not like top tier quality. Oh, like they're, 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 they're so affordable. They, 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 well, they can do amazing work. Yeah, yeah. Check. That 200 fold, fold, fold. So some of them, the shirts shrunk the first time I watched them. <laughs> I was like, maybe we don't wash them. Maybe we yeah. just like drag them. AJ Bucks, AJ Bucks, you know? Yeah. They were like pre shrunk fabrics and stuff, you know? It's like, yeah. yeah. Well, shit, I was just like, I'm taking so personal little. like I got like I got like a suit with two pairs of slacks and like ten like button down shirts like tailor made like like I picked the fabric shirt right? like That's just awesome. like, and it was like four hundred dollars four hundred fifty dollars oh my god yeah I mean, I mean this is this is a few years no ago, but like, still, it's still it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy what you can and get. And like the more shirts I bought, she's like, oh, I'll give you a better deal. Yeah, like, okay, and then also the shirts are free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's like, still 400. <laughs> it's getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, yeah. you know? Raise 125. Black nines here for John. Several days. He made like, a set I mean, like, with his hand yeah, I got earlier. I was like, look, I'm here for a week. Yeah. Like, awesome. The very first time I went, up to got, like, 125 order, JT. Like, five days later, I went back to like, a test. in there. He fished in there with a beautiful the hand. Jack can suit it. And the, best. the majority <laughs> of the Can't equity. Two players who swap queen in the window. Seven four behind it. Pocket nine still best. But we're checking through free turn card. And there's a jack. For Venom, excuse me, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> John makes the call, gonna need to find the Nine of Hearts on the end, it does not does have the nine of spades and the ace actually favoring his three flop range a little bit more than Z fish, but check check is how we go. Pretty am. I went there on a work trip and uh, they usually put us up on a train that tells when we travel international. And, uh, How have the poker streets been treating you here as of late, Mr. Eric? You've been, uh, you been out there slaying them or what? No, I haven't been playing a whole lot. Uh, I did fire in the even bigger one, uh, just one bullet, and uh, it was not really a fun bullet, so I decided not to fire again. Uh, cash did me okay um, that week, but uh, yeah, just really been, been working and uh, just kind of relaxed in the last couple of weeks, so. Might play a little bit more in the in the coming weeks. But I, heard pizza I know we'll have the even bigger one again at the end of this month. Um, might fire in one of these Saturdays coming up, but really just been working a lot, so taking a little a little poker break. <laughs> right on, man. Well, you you keep firing in the even bigger one. So you keep you keep on keeping on, man. Yeah, you, uh, you know. They, <laughs> Like, it looks like a pirate ship, and the pirate ship was like, in the window. Everyone needs to pull up. Like, I'm just 
awesome. <laughs> if 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 this I was a like, Russian bar, I mean, now it was a pirate ship that was like <laughs> over the pool. Like one side of the pool had like sand uh, even. So it was, like, sand we got a raise to 125. Rich, like, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. It's it is. Like, Carlos, lift back raise. That's not what I expected, right? Yeah. You gotta go to the chat Okay. Rich Mike says, I don't open the 6-3 suited and then fold it. <laughs> Absolutely. He makes the call. Benna makes the call. Here we go. Carlos with the limp back raise. Betting lead. Six in the window. Three behind it and a king. Are you kidding me? Look at this flop. This is the nuttiest flop you've ever seen for these three hands. Absolutely. And this is Carlos perfect. Perfect for what we've needed tonight. Yeah, so, like, yeah. so then we just 600 like into out 11. Like a yeah, a little over half pop. Bridge Mike here. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, check. Oh, okay. Call. <laughs> just <laughs> check. Call. With the bottom two pair. Benham. Jade like, Plus Draw like, getting a brilliant price. He's like, There's okay, I don't have to raise. I don't have to do anything. I can just call and <laughs> like, see what happens. Like, Three of spades. One time. Three of spades. Ah. Jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. Benham now with a combo draw. Oh, check, check. I'll let Carlos, yeah, Carlos continue. I mean, he he limp back raise. He bends over half no, pot no, on the flop. He's going to continue. This time, these are just 1,300, so not even quite half pot this time. Which, Mike, what are you going to do here, man? You got 5K? Elementary school Stack kid inside of you just kicks on. It's just like pizza party. The, the pot is blowing up here, man. Are you gonna, are you just gonna they keep checking calling? What happens if you see a green, a ten, a spade, a ace? Yeah. So many bad cards. You don't really want to see. Just gonna call. JT is gonna annihilate that slice of pizza as Benham is gonna call as well. He just keeps getting priced in. He's like I. My hand is amazing, but I just have to keep trying to realize my equity because the price I'm being given Ugh. is exactly what I want. And it's going to be the ace on the end. Bridge Mike somehow once again saving his stack against what would have been a nut run out for Benham. He jams it. <laughs> Carlos calls off for $8,000. $8, Jesus Christ. And Bridge Mike is just like, holy. $8,000 20 into a pot that was not quite $8,000. Full pot size jam from Benham after just call calling. And Carlos is going to go down to the felt again the second time after unburying himself. Unburying himself. Loses a 23.5k pot. What a turn, indeed, though. I was calling for that three of spades, and you called it. They said that jack of hearts is something. Wow. I think this one is one short. What a hand. <laughs> that is astronomical. And for Benham to just bomb it, right? Like, he just blasted in there. He's like, I'm all in. And Carlos, he didn't even really think about it, right? I mean, yeah. It, and it makes some sense. It's like... That's the only Airport hand touch? that could possibly make it this far. Like, even if he'd thought about it longer, right? Like, let's let's think about it. Pocket threes, pocket sixes, um, king jack. Like, none of these hands are just going to, like, check and call. They're just not doing it. It's not, nope. it's not a real thing. At some point in the hand, you have to, you have to raise because your hand is vulnerable, but also very strong. So... <laughs> Uh, they would have done that. It's exactly <laughs> Queen Ten of Spades. It's the only hand he ever has. I'm busy. Is this, this it's is insane. Yeah. It's absolutely insane. That river is it really is mind boggling. I'll send her black. Yeah. Exactly. And Bridge Mike. <laughs> if at any point he had just ripped it in there, especially on the turn, think about it. He check jams the turn with bottom two pair. Mm -hmm. Queen Ten of Spades is like, oh my God, I have so much equity here. Up and down straight draw, flush draw, but like I could be super dead. Yeah. I could be up against a pair and a flush draw. I could be up against uh, a set, right? Like these things, okay, maybe even a set, you have like 35% equity against. You're actually doing quite well against But are you getting the right price, you know? Uh, yeah, he, I guess he probably has the price. I don't know. If, maybe if he does call there, is that the spot that Carlos can, can get away from with just one pair? You know, probably so. 
and we're, we're talking about a whole different hand there. <laughs> wow. Well, for sure, if on the flop, for sure, forget about the turn, because maybe maybe Bridge Mike doesn't have enough to get uh, the queen ten of spades to fold on the turn. Check. But for sure on the flop, if it goes check raise from right, the six three, three. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure yeah, if yeah. queen ten of spades can actually hang on. Yeah. And if Queen Ten of Spades folds, then we end up in a crazy situation where the River Ace actually gives uh, Carlos the better Carlos the win. And stacks Bridge Mike. <laughs> totally and different Benham dynamic. looks at the hand with horror in his being at how being folded what would have been this massive hand. Right. So it's like it's all about just how these hands get played. Does, does the player with the the hand, the hand at the moment actually raise it or did they just call or whatever, right? It, it led to that whole scenario playing out. And Benham is still stacking chips over there. All right. So JD's playing banker over there, giving out some chips to Bridge Mike so he, he can add on. And we are going into a little bit of a glitch Best. Uh, we're gonna have some top-down poker view of the uh, the top-down camera view for a little bit. We've only got one card on the button. We'll get one more here in a moment. But uh, the dealer currently navigating the straddles up to one hundred dollars. Yeah. Sound like AJ was going to add on 5K to his stack as well. Well, we're getting this camera situation figured out. Taylor jumping in the chat saying, "Smash that like button if you think yours truly should bring some pizza back into the production booth." I'm hungry enough right now that I would eat a slice of pizza. I apologize. All right, so we are going to be stuck in this top-down camera view, which isn't the worst thing because uh, we are still going to get the hands um, scanned in, at least as far as we understand. They're going to get scanned in appropriately. Uh, JD here going to be free betting from the big blind. Carlos here going to make the call. He's back into trying to unstuck himself. He got unstuck relatively quickly after getting felted on hand number two. Now here he is back down to, you know, the kind of let's try to get bailed out spot. He's going to flop middle pair, but it's top two for JD. Top two from the top view. I think a lot of times they'll need it. And yeah, with the spades out there and all sorts of sort of ace jack, ace ten, jack ten, jack nine sort of holdings out there. JD gonna go ahead and just bet six hundred. I grabbed on the way in on my car. makes the call. No chance he's got seven five here. It's literally not possible. I just don't believe it. <laughs> Unless he was more focused on eating pizza than he was uh, what his holdings are. Maybe that seven is another spade there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but JD is going to move all in on the Jack of Diamonds turn. Basically just saying, yeah, you only have a couple thousand behind. There's no hand I'm ever afraid of for what you have remaining. So, to the test. I mean, you put them in exactly this king, right? Oh, all right, let me know in the chat yeah. who all is going to be down in <laughs> Houston for I the mean, upcoming Poker is. Atlas Tour. One million dollars in guaranteed oh, payouts mm -hmm. for these tournaments, starting in just over a week. It's like yeah, a week like in a day. Like you said, the what the opening event is a 250k guarantee mystery bounty, and then the main event is guaranteed to be at least 500k. Yes, sir. With, I'm sure, satellites to get into that as well. So, tournament players, get your booties down to Houston if you can and get after it. All right, 
queen 6-6 six, six here. Ace right. high, best for AJ. Three to a straight, three to a flush, though. Definitely one of the hands for John that you think about check raising at a fairly high percentage. The reason being that queen 6-6, six, six, rainbow flop, it's really hard to have any bluffs. But you're in the big blind. You're the guy that has, like, every six under the sun. So you need to find some bluffs. You need to have some extra hands that you can check raise with that aren't just always a six. And maybe even a, a good queen or something, right? Like a queen jack, maybe you check raise that just for value and try to push out your ace, king, whatever, over card. <laughs> so having the eight, seven of diamonds there is actually a really good hand to go for a check raise bluff. Yeah, it doesn't 75. find it, goes to the fold, and the ace five, take it down. A whole bunch of this stuff, too. I mean, we talk about what you you know could do or some of the best combos or whatever for this and that. And, I mean, let's be honest. Like, a lot of this stuff is living in this kind of fairy tale land of I'm a robot playing against other robots and, you know, this is what we should do. But it re the reality is that, you know, human beings don't play like that. They just really don't. So you don't you don't have to try to play like that. You can you know play your own game, develop your own strategies, implement um, your own Check. approach to the game. You know, I think we always see a pretty good blend of advanced GTO robot play mixed with human beings coming in here, ready to blast it. Carlos going to be ready to blast it with the middle set. If I blast it, I mean check and call. Fish up and down straight draw does not get there, but front door flush draw does. A little bit sketchy here for the flop middle set. Now third set, losing to all the flushes of the world. But still beating a whole bunch of other stuff. Benham and AJ are not in there. You are putting them away. <laughs> Carlos is. Goes for the check and the call once more. So the number's going to be low. That's good. There's still a ton of people. I need to get cards there because otherwise I will just... And just keep pounding it. Check, check, showdown. 7-9. And it just keeps getting worse and worse here for Carlos. Z-Fish backs into the straight, but does not love the four flush board. Checks it back, still wins a $1,900 pot against a flopped set. And Carlos, you can see, is not feeling it here this evening. Making big hands, but not the nickname again? get paid. As Eric just did a little dance in front of the camera for me, showing off his pizza slice that I do not have because I am not graced with the presence of pizza givers of Dallas. So you know what? I hope it tastes like three-week-old Long John Silver. <laughs> if this pizza tastes fishy because you just said that, <laughs> there's going to be a problem. Can I interest you in a fish sandwich? Oh, or however that goes. Shout out to the Pez, though. The Pezster said he has not played in a month, and he's going to jump back in the poker streets playing some of these morning turbo tournaments that we have. I miss those morning turbos, man. Those are those are fun. Hope you crush it tomorrow. Maybe I will get a wild hair. Getting in there yeah. with your morning turbos as well. Even bigger morning ones, yeah. He always got the bigger morning one. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's, uh, Sponsored Limp by Men's Limp Tea Pot. Clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Limp Pot here. Bridge Mike somehow with the beautiful Jack yeah, 10 nice suited, not raising it up. Right? Scott in the same Which boat with the ace of Jack. And it comes five now. high. Deep in the top <laughs> pair. Up and downer. Carlos, two me. overs and up and down are of his own. I, I promise, I thought I was the uh, brakes I was hitting. It just happened to accelerate. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's three a very players. powerful call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> Hell's real close together, you know? You're good. Uh, three players. Going to return. 
My funky pod. Gut shot to the super nuts for John. Also had some backdoor hearts he working, that. so he stuck around, but he's gone now on the turn 10 at clubs. Carlos is going to check and call again. Is this going to happen? It looks like it is. Check and call from Carlos, and he's going to need to hit 8, 6, 7, or deuce. Or he's going to be left with just 8 high and really no way to him win this hand. Checks. He's got 8 high. He loses to a 5. Out of 5. Yeah. On an equity, but just can't, can't uh, hit the hand. So therefore, uh, they're in the hand. But that wasn't the mid game. Should have not been in there for five two shots. Pretty uh, trash slice of pizza, if I must say so. So. Ready? Congratulations, uh, Aaron. You got your wish. It tastes like. Does it taste like three-week-old Long John Silver? Not quite that bad. But uh, not Zolot Pizza's best. Wow. Do better, folks. Where Where is it from? I won't burn them again. I'll text it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But it's okay. No? You know what? Anytime. Anytime pizza. <laughs> Doesn't hit the mark. Let's be honest. Yes. That's bad pizza. Like pizza's got to be. Uh, let me know in the chat. What is easier to do than pizza? Like what is less hard to screw up, right? Than pizza. Yeah. If you are like, this is my establishment. You come in here or you go online and that's what you order. I make pizza. Like how how much. It's not like you're like, okay, I make um, um, Italian food or something, right? I mean, like, okay, you got to be good at making yes. red sauce, white C4 sauce, uh, pizzas, and, like, a and bunch C4 of other stuff, pulse. right? Four like mussels and whatever, right? Like, you're just pizza. You're a one-trick pony. You got to be able to do that well. Yeah. All right, we've got one hell of a screwed up hand here, as I am okay, not sure I believe that these players have kings and ace queen. But we're going to just roll with check. it because Venom and Carlos have check. mystery cards. Mediocre poker sushi is so easy. <laughs> okay, I think that's a sarcastic comment. Love that one. Uh, 10 on the turn after we check through. Apparently, we've got these cards reread, and it is indeed kings. East Queen. Queen Jack picking up the gut shot. The two overs. And Carlos on the only pair. Uh, only board pair, I should say. The pair of sixes. It's real life. Heads up. Ooh, bad river card here for Benham. Going to pick up the top pair. If indeed these hands are correct, three thousand in the middle. AJ here with the king of clubs. I think he can barely. Oh wow, he's checked. Oh, I don't know if he has king. Oh no, he doesn't have king. All right, he's gonna make a call. And there it is, king. Venom value betting himself. AJ with the king. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, uh, a pizza place is kind of similar to, uh, like, a sandwich place, right? It's like every medium of presentation is your crust or your bread. So you got to do that well. Like, that's a fair amount. You must have good crust or good bread. And then after that, it's kind of like, all right, well, maybe some of the pizzas suck or some of the sandwiches suck because, I don't know, your pastrami sucks or your ham is just basically store-bought or whatever it is, right? Like certain things could be not as good as others, but you, you have to nail the one thing that every sandwich, every pizza has, right? Was it, was it crust? It was lacking, or was it the topics? The, like the crust and the uh, the sauce wasn't on point on this one, so yeah. Oh, the sauce. Yeah, see? Okay, pizza. You got to have good crust, good sauce. 
So, I mean, okay, there's a couple of failure points. There's definitely... Almost airport. It's not, airport. It's not the easiest <laughs> thing in the world, but at the same time, it's not making a business. Like, you know, have those you know, down. Talk to your Let's friends, your family, down. right? Like, eat this pizza. Would, hey, would you yeah. buy this? If someone's like, nah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You kind of suck. Anyways, I'm going to get off of that train as the JD Jack Tent in a way. We're now on a 5-4 split between winners and losers. Carlos down 12 thousand dollars tough night here for him denim up over 10k sitting on the biggest stack of 20 plus shortest stack here jt still chilling on 2200 carlos not too far above at 3000 try to spin these short stacks up as carlos Limps the ace five suited, gonna run straight into the ace queen. Of got our, got our cameras back, baby. No more overhead view, that's good. Dean C in the chat with a hot take says the difference between good and bad pizza is you can eat good pizza cold. I agree, Dean. C one raises all in. C two folds. I mean, it kind of implies that the difference between good and bad pizza is that you could both eat bad pizza hot, but that somehow eating it cold was, is like the breaking point. Of the it's bad just going to be worse cold than it already was. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I get where you're going with it, Dean, and I absolutely agree with you. Good pizza can be eaten cold, and there's no problem. Bad pizza is going to suck cold. It probably also <laughs> sucks hot. It's, I don't know, it's bad. bad pizza. God, it's hard to do bad pizza. JT, all in. Pocket Queens. AJ. It, he, this is the yeah, same spot earlier. He doubled up JT. He's like, I, you have no chips. I have a good hand. I'm going to call. <laughs> I'm going to call you. And once again, run it one time. He's got 30% equity. This is the exact same situation that we had before. And he's oh, going to drill the ace this time. Oh, oh my, my god. god are you Where does that queen me? come from? Where does that one queen? Out. <laughs> one out. One out. I apologize to anyone that just ruptured their eardrums from my <laughs> and my yeah. You got the double whammy. How did that one out just immediately appear on the turn? It did give AJ the two outer in response. He could have been like, okay, how about I hit you back with the nace? But it didn't happen. My goodness, JT goes from unbelievable super dust to 4,600, and AJ continues to move down the leaderboard. He is now second most stuck at 6,700. God, what a savage beat. And he's the one out, he, or he's the run at one time guy. He's like, no, 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 yeah. we're running at once. Because I'm so far ahead that there's literally, oh my God, you just hit it. You know, like, what? How is that? The what? space queen from Mars, as Bill says, falls from outer space. Welcome to the chat, Bill. Space queen from Mars. The name of a good pizza place. <laughs> All right, JT, back in there, fresh off the dub. You see a 10-10-4 flop with the ace high and wins immediately. Just flick a little hundred piece out there, take it down. That's how. Do you remember the weirdest pizza that you've ever had? Like in terms of toppings and flavors and everything? I don't know why. Man, I've been to a couple of weird places. I lived in Houston for five years, and there was a place that was real unique. I mean, when I got there, I was like, what is this? Because I'm just such a pepperoni pizza guy. Like, you know, the more meat, the merrier kind of thing on my pizza, but not a big vegetable guy. But this was just a very weird pizza place i think it may have been downtown houston uh, probably didn't survive COVID actually now that i think about it because a lot of places closed down but 
Yeah, it was just, it was, uh, I don't know, it had a like, European flair, and uh, it was good. It just was strange. I just I, don't, I just remember looking at the menu, and the toppings were, everything about them, just the names of the pizzas were weird, the toppings were weird, so I'm such yeah, a traditional pizza that, guy. Yeah, I do think, like, some places try to go a little bit, like, overboard, where they're, you know, the, yeah, it's like the the King Philip the Twenty Seventh or whatever, and they put all kinds of weird shit on it. You got broccoli sticking out of the cheese, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> that, you know? Like, yeah. You're trying too hard, man. Um, I will say that I've had all kinds of different pizzas, and the weirdest ones to me have been the white sauce pizza, okay. which I'm not saying that I haven't enjoyed them. I guess it's just such an alternative experience to what the traditional pizza experience is, which is just like red sauce, tomato forward, and then just a bunch of different things that just mix well with that. You got salty salami, you got or, uh, pepperoni or whatever, right? It's just salt and tomato. That's what you expect when you go and, and eat a slice of pizza. So... I don't even remember everything that was in it, but it was just, it's like a white sauce, white meat chicken, broccoli. I mean, it's just, it, you know, it's like one of these things. It's like, what are you trying to do with this? You know, you know, that's, like, you're, you're getting close to one of my favorite kind of alternative pizzas there is the chicken, uh, spinach, white okay. white pizza with chicken and spinach, you know. And I'm not even that big yeah. of a spinach fan, but just th those two together, maybe a little artichoke on there. Uh, but but yeah, other than that, dude. nothing too too crazy. Artichoke, broccoli, and then like some pepper flakes or something, right? I mean, you're like you're out in left field now. Like this yeah. is some un untouched pizza terrain that you're on. It, it's it's unusual. It's definitely not something that I'm, you know like trying to sign up for. However, it's not that I really didn't enjoy it. Weird. What do you mean? Different. See, and there's Taylor in the background 15 minutes ago grabbing my slice of pizza, so I can see if maybe she did something funny to it. She may get busted on camera. Dropped it on the carpet. Yeah. She did uh, just give me the bird through the window, so she didn't like my false accusation. All right, is six seven middle two pair actually gonna win this hand right now? Is this real life? Yeah, because otherwise I see four deuce. Oh my god! All right, seven six for two dusty pair. Well, there we go. We are on, are on our third dealer there. This is Mr. Johnny Rodriguez. Plays at a lot of tournaments. Heck of a player. Heck of a dealer. Husband to Kara, who's also a dealer here at TCH. Love me some Kara. I'm adding 5,000. Uh, Carlos is adding 500, you say, Carlos? 5,000. 5,000. Yes, sir. I, here, here's what I hope. I hope that there will be a big tournament series up in Dallas. Or at the new Austin location, going to be opening this summer in just a couple of months. Either I will go up there or you will come down here. And we will do we will co cast the the commentary, the show, from the same location. And we will have we'll have an on air bet, a wager based on something that we have invented. And the loser will have to eat twenty dollars worth of Long John Silver. <laughs> Fair enough. God, I'm actually horrified by that thought now. I am too, because I don't even know what they have. Okay, maybe fifteen dollars. Twenty dollars just seems like a lot. How about a flop? I guess you get to choose. Maybe, maybe. You just How about get a to flop choose. here? Well, we're still talking fish sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> we got a flush and a pair with a flush draw. Yeah, take it away, Eric. This is. Uh, <laughs> Good stuff. How about the ace of clubs on the river? How about another four of clubs on the river? Oh, no.
this pot is massive, <laughs> given the hand that Give it, is yeah. controlling right now. I mean, this is absolutely undeniably ridiculous. Big bet here from Benham. As yeah, he either has something like a flopped full house, or it's a flopped full house, flopped flush. My brain is not working. And words or hearts. Uh, but the problem is that he's got the king. The king of hearts comes off. He, he hard blocks any chance of his opponent having, or most of his opponent's chances of having something like a king nine here. I think that's the spot to go for the, for the block or maybe the half pot, right? Like, yes, this is a an over card that you can rep to act like you're bluffing, but like you have the king of clubs in your hand. That's what I get. Your opponent can't have that. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe yeah, I'm, Z, Z Fish would have had to be real sticky there to to call with just a four there. So just a, or even just a nine. I mean, imagine he's got like nine, ten of diamonds. And he just bombs right there on the river. Like, you lose to every king X of, you know, with the king of clubs. Or actual flush. Or there's just so many things that beat you. You just end up folding a nine. And then you don't get your value. I don't know. It's just tricky. Top pair versus middle pair here. Definitely a chance for JD to get some value. And he'll get at least 100 bucks so far. King changes nothing, although it does give AJ a gut shot. Size up here from JD, very likely and just get the fold and does. Just was informed that I am going to get to give this round of Zalot Pizza another try to see if this next slice is better than the first. Or these next two slices that Mallory brought me. Thank you, Mal. Wow. Double dipping. Going full fatty mode. Man, I'm jealous. I'm going to have to order like an extra double stack taco. I'm not going to lie. That one looks like it was dropped on the carpet for sure. <laughs> this, one, this one really does look like it was stepped on. <laughs> Do I see a Converse or Vans streetwear uh, print? No. All right. Y'all can't see the camera feed that I can see, but yeah, there's just this like folded up, stepped on looking piece of pizza that Eric is about to put into his face. Pokernomics, you're dead, dead on. Zalot is normally the absolute nuts, but the slice I had before was straight boo boo. Boo boo. Yeah. Aces and kings for Scott, aces and trays for AJ. Bet flop and call. Check, check, turn. And a queen of spades on the end. Not the greatest card here ever. AJ probably wanted to see something more like a five, four, a three. Uh, excuse me, a deuce, obviously. But we're just going to show down kings, and AJ does not lose anything. Shows them the threes, and everyone's like, wait a minute. What are you afraid of? Oh, God, that's nice. Yeah. It was like a Hollywood film. All right, slice number two, much better. Uh, Dave Portnoy probably still only gives this a six out of ten. Not Zalot's finest, but, but much better than the trash that, uh, that I ate round one. Well, I dare say $20 of Long John Silver. Oh, so much better. Just roll it up into the slice, you know. <laughs> That's another no-no, Aaron. No fish on your pizza. No anchovies. I don't know if I've ever had anchovies on a pizza. I mean, I know it's a thing, but I don't. I just. Okay, no, I I do think there's like a visceral memory somewhere buried in my psyche about saltiness. 
of a sardine. Ugh, that's that's for terrorists. Or whatever. That was on iron, you know? Uh, anchovies, rather, not a sardine. Are anchovies just baby sardines? What are they? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. They just sound nasty. And look nasty. I mean, it's obviously salted fish, but like, I, I think something in my memory tells me that the sardine fish and the anchovy fish are the same. Somebody tell me I'm totally wrong in the chat, please. A pair of sevens on the turn for Benham. Still the top pair of Flopperuski for Carlos. But it's a check. I mean, Carlos is checking, so Benham is like, I guess I bet? Question mark? Why do I value on my set? <laughs> the bet question mark is usually a spot you don't love to find yourself in where you're kind of turning a showdownable hand into a bluff. But sometimes we do indeed find ourselves there. And give Carlos some money. Yeah, Ben up. said, why do I value own myself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This money at least I didn't lose that much. Ray, 75. Got Kara joining us here in the chat. What is up? Welcome. I'm doing quite well. Eric is doing even better. He is stuffing his face full of Zalot pizza, and I am not, so... I am a little bit sad in that department, but we're still watching some mighty fine poker oh, here yeah. on TCH yeah, Live, yeah. and AJ just won with the ace deuce, so he's feeling pretty good as well. I'll, I'll cover the camera, Aaron, so you don't have to watch the, the food porn. Dude, don't you dare. <laughs> Live vicariously through the camera, the microphone. I swear I just saw aces that were folded. Please tell me that seat one missed his opportunity at aces because he's away from the table. Plowing uh, a lot. Keeps the slices into his hole. As, yeah, I think that's right. Pocket eights, good enough. Just take her down. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Johnny, who's pitching the cards right now, and Kara on Bambino number two on the way, I believe, due in February of 2025-ish. I don't think you pronounced that correctly. There's more R involved. February. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did I say February? Like it's a college? <laughs> yeah, just get, just get like... A full half slice of pizza in your mouth of February. You know, get it right out. All right. Venom here. Pretty spicy. Three bets from the straddle. 7 6 0. Oh. He gets his opponent to lay down East Jack on the butt. This man is rocking and rolling. The man with 100% went to showdown percentage. You know, he, just, he, didn't, he didn't come here to mess around. He didn't come here to play. Seven, six off? Get out of my house, bro. Yeah. Zero percent aggression frequency. Don't get me wrong, but 100% went to showdown. So. And I'm pretty sure Benham did add on at some point a little bit, but he is the one that started out with the 4K stack and now has over 20. So he has definitely uh, got his confidence going now, as seen by that last hand. Love seeing it. Yeah. Two ways about it. And when a man starts balling, better watch out. JD here, Jack four. He's got two blockers. He did not just bunk his hand. He called or checked or whatever he did. He has cards. He flops a flush draw with a whole lot of no other opportunities to win. Just gonna check call. Real opportunity to donk lead there. Honestly, 4JD doesn't take it. Half pot bet on the turn. JD check raise. 
I actually checked like an hour ago. No, I think he has to. Because the weather does. He did yeah, check raise block. He did donk lead the Good turn. Idea. So he so just gonna fold to this guy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy of mine had a connection. Oh God, he's gonna check call. Yeah, JT get getting inception into oh, 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 yeah. oh, just the weirdest good. line ever. Yeah, try to realize his equity out of position does not do so. Now he can dong. Oh, he still doesn't. Okay, he's gonna lose the ace high. Uh, JT here, I think he, he literally just got he got Carlos. I'm pretty sure. King Goose. King Queen would It was. Yes, I'm not going to play King Queen. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cindy calling <laughs> out your, your weird uh, due date. <laughs> I know it's early. I know it's very early. They announced early. Give me a little credit. I have yet to be corrected <laughs> by the one with the bun in the oven. Carol, when are we due here? It's not early. It's late. December. 150 is the race. No, I said early into the oh, pregnancy. You have one hand, man. One hand. It is for you. Just donate. Oh, Even if she got pregnant God. today, <laughs> February would be very late <laughs> by human standards. I've been taking the So, April is month number four. Let me see. What? April is month number four, is it not? And February is month number two. Two. On, What's the difference in months? Ten. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. There's a beautiful baby that's due, okay? That's all I know. It's going to come out at 24 pounds, seven oh ounces. God. <laughs> no, man, whatever, whatever you know is check. what you know, man. Check, check. Oh. Can you tell who the single guy with no kids is? I was in here painting the yeah, yeah. Good at math? I told him I wasn't an ace if it wasn't. Words are hards and maths are hards too. Months are hard. Gestation periods are hard. Now I wish the flag has the day. Shout out to you, Cindy. <laughs> I, w us men need, you know, women to correct us on these things. So thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Reminder that you guys are indeed the superior sex. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> all right, all right. I go too far here. 150 now. Everyone is equal. <laughs> Some are just more. One hand, man. Just for you guys. I would have three with it normally, to be honest. <laughs> I kid, of is course. Here we go. Z fish opening the hijack with the squeeze out of the big line. Wow. Carlos, he's stuck. He's got ace queen O. Oh, he's in the straddle. <laughs> and he just folds the hand right, somehow. Right. Man, some way. Up. Just folds every the hand. hand. Every hand. Yeah. You got aces again? I believe so. <laughs> You'll find out if he checks. Matt <laughs> adding on to the math is hard comment. I'm feeling wow. a little. Feeling like Chris Farley right now. God, I'm an idiot. Nine high board here. Z fish. Top pair, top kicker. 400. Back door. Spade flush opportunities. JT, small bet, easy call. Caught swelling to 21, 2680. Excuse me, Z Fish raising. This is not a thing. This is absolutely not a thing, but Z Fish is doing it. The raise and find out where you're at, these guys don't do this. Uh, they just did. But Z-Fish just did, as you say. Um, JD calls. <laughs> now checking the turn, Z-Fish here. I mean, now you just check, and why? Why are we here? What happened? Runs out, three to a straight, excuse me, four to a straight, three to a flush. RJ DeBrizzle in the chisel. I don't know what day it is. I'm just hoping I don't miss the eclipse. Well, don't do it. JD here, ace of diamonds. He bet called the flop, checked the turn. Does he have some jacks? Every once in a while, sure he does. 
Do you have some flush draws? Yeah. And now Stop bombs. <laughs> and now bombs with the ace of diamonds. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well played, JD. Recognizing that as soon as his opponent can check back the turn, it just doesn't matter. His hand is never strong enough. Uh, unless it's just exactly... God, what is it? I don't even know what it is. There's yeah, just no I mean, raises. There's that. I mean, Zfish just went down a completely untested part of the game tree there. He, he's not. He's not one of these other guys at the table. Zfish doesn't do that. JD knows that. So I don't know, he just stuffs it in. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't get me wrong, though. I do think it's fun and honestly quite valuable. Valid and valuable mm -hmm. to mix in some Raise very one, unexpected, like zero probability or very low frequency plays into your up. strategy because it will be so unorthodox. <laughs> but you usually, in my opinion, will want to do it with a hand that is just so unbelievably dusty and just like full blown zero equity bluff. Or like maybe check call with the super nuts like at some frequency way higher than you should normally you know just like deviate in a way where like yes you're kind of going off down a weird trail but like you damn well know how to play it if your opponent plays back at you because your hand is just so bad like you just snap fold it but like ace nine there like what do you do now and now you check and then your opponent rips the river and you're like what the fuck Jackson yeah, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. JD here, he's in there with the seven Dewey. He nice doesn't guy. get the job done. <laughs> he's he's tried it a couple times, and we I don't have the buddies. seven deuce game on. I, I love the uh, the effort because you know he's wanting to be able to show a big bluff at some point, but unfortunately uh, didn't get that one through. Actually makes the call there after the board pairs kings. Are we sure we don't have the seven deuce game on? Yeah. Okay. Until they prove me otherwise. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we haven't seen a ton of seven deuce combos. No, we, up, we haven't. I don't JD think. has played both of the ones he's <laughs> yes. dealt. Makes me think. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. But that's because he's the Jay Diggles. Raise. Three and four. One and only. Three twenty-five and out of that. Jay Diggles back in there. Three betting the button. This time, Kate Jizzles. <laughs> <laughs> JT is out of there, and JT takes it. Uh, good stuff. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in here on Tuesday night's iteration of TCH Live. Absolutely. Five, still four here tonight. Still over 200 watching through all the streams. Hope you guys have smashed that like button and subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Um, <laughs> This stream and tons of other content will be uh, available to watch, as will our streams from Austin, where Mr. Aaron McAvoy is. Houston has some live streams, and our newest live stream coming to you from Edinburgh, Texas, down there in the Rio Grande Valley. So a lot of content going to be coming out uh, from TCH Live throughout the rest of this year. So subscribe to that sucker and give us a like. And I just went and logged into my YouTube channel and uh, smashed the like button. We're up to 61 likes. I think we knew a heck of a lot better than that. So there's about three times as many of you guys hanging out with us as we have likes. And some of y'all probably haven't clicked that button. We would appreciate it. Oh, so much. I would appreciate it. RJ smash. <laughs> Who doesn't want to smash? Help us out. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And come back and hang out with us. And we'll have a night as well. As other nights during the week. I didn't drink the water. We got uh, free poker content coming at you Monday through Thursday. And sometimes on the weekends as well. Depending on what kind of big tournament final tables we got. We got. So all sorts of goodies. And we love hanging out with you. 8-6 suited, between 9-0, heads up to a flop. 9-9 nine, nine deuce. Top trip for Mr. Carlos on the button.
We were talking about the 8-7 suited earlier as a check raise candidate, JD here, with a similar candidate. Doesn't have a sort of in-between cards that, that, I mean, I guess he kind of does. Um, and yeah, what a what a turn card here for JD, floating the 8-6, picking up sixes on the turn. And you definitely can't float the 8-6 of spades, hit this turn card and hold to this bet. So JD gonna get strung along for another round. Absolutely. Really doesn't want to see another six on the river. God, that would have been dirty. The eight is also not great. Front door hearts brick out, and now he's blocking everything. Carlos here just needs to have like a nine or nothing. Six. And this is a big bet. Carlos doesn't do a ton of bluffing, but he just really can't have JD's hand in a fold, I don't think. Good to be lucky. Wow. But he does. He gets away from it. He's like, no, Carlos doesn't bluff enough to even call with this hand. Unbelievable. And, and Benham is actually going to get to skate out of here, the big winner. He has a flight to catch, so he is being excused, which is not the norm on these big games. But these players already knew going in he had a flight to catch tonight, and uh, he just happened to be our big winner uh, tonight. So well done, Benham. Dude, Glad to well, see you back I on mean, the stream, and congrats on uh, some big pots tonight. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, I hope he's going to the Bahamas or Paris or something. Maybe maybe they tag JD out and they're tagging Venom in. And he's the new Paris. Either way, he is the winner. And if you're, if you're going to have a night where you need to leave early, yeah. like when you've just completely obliterated the table and you're like, well, I'm just going to walk out of here with a cool like $16,000 I didn't have before. I'll see you guys later, you know? Yeah. Eh, it's not a bad time to do it. Vacation paid for. Yeah, right. Bridge Mike putting on the glasses. And he goes for the check raise. And he's going to be rewarded with a ripper two pair. Front door clubs does come in. JT here with a very awkward hand. I mean, his hand is super dust, but he does have the five of clubs, a pretty relevant card. He's just like, whatever's going on over here, I just, I'm not gonna mess with it. And I think it's probably best to just fold, like at 100%. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty curious play there from Bridge Mike, let's be honest. All right, so Benham takes off and we snap have a new player coming in who is heck this? yeah let's see who we got here matt thomas in the chat what are tch live loyalty points well those are the fun and free points that you can accrue just by chatting and hanging out with your fellow compatriots in the chat you accrue one point every basically 10 minutes for each time you chat or participate in the chat. You can even just check your points with exclamation point points. And once you get up to 10 or more, you can start a fun little game where you try to accrue more and more TCH Live loyalty points just to have something to do while you enjoy the free poker content. Heck yeah. Uh, just realized from early on in the chat, Walker who was inquiring about getting in on this game when seat nine was available before Bridge Mike got here. Walker has now joined us, so hell yeah. Walker's in, let's go. Welcome and he to... sits down with ace-queen suited and bricks the flop. He's up against pocket jack, still has two overs and three to a royal. But he is up against Mr. Bridge Mike. He says I didn't come to fold. 
Hello, Equity. And Bridge Mike slows it down with a check here. Robert, also known as Walker. Yeah, anytime you float a flop against an aggressive opponent, or excuse me, an opponent that was the pre-flop aggressor, <laughs> must probe the turn, and he just gets the jacks to lay down immediately. Yeah, immediately. Wow, Robert coming in hot, stealing a pot away from the get-go. Walker. Walker. Played once at Poker House a yeah, long yeah. time ago. Long time ago. Uh, 25 there. Yeah. Cool. So Walker has a little bit of familiarity with uh, with JD. It's like May, I think. Oh, He's going to be on no? the stream here as Robert, though, though potentially. Uh, no, did I'm want the, Walker uh, or did want Walker? Not not exactly clear, but Walker or Robert? I'd like just moved here. We're gonna just uh, we're gonna roll with what's on screen. As Zfish here facing an open. Wait, excuse me. Min click open. No, 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 that's a straddle. Okay, okay, all right, we just had it wrong in the system. Open a 125, a call, and now a three bet. This is not a four bet pot, but Z-Fish will win nonetheless. Are you from Texas or Houston? Houston, yeah. Yeah, it's been good though, I like it a lot. Straddle 50. Sounds like uh, Robert or Mr. Walker here is from Houston originally, but came to Dallas and went to SMU. <laughs> He's been splashing around in some poker rooms in Dallas, so glad to see him on here. Love having some new blood, and uh, we'll put up Mallory's information again if you're interested in joining one of these streams, one of these Tuesday night big games. We will put up her info so you can get in on this. All right, Kiwi Colleen taking off for a doctor's appointment. Well, we'll catch you next time. Small loan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. My dad only owned a diamond mine. You know, that's it. It's like bootstraps. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's exactly why I did it. Like, I went to Indiana for undergrad. Like, have every intention of staying in Texas. Maybe yeah. not immediately, but like... Deep fish, top trip on the turn. So, figured it would... Seems so like, yeah, SMU... Braves. So, you'd very highly Texas. I'm sure outside still fine, but like... Texas especially seems really... Real good. Cool. Hey, Brave, that's good, too. That can... They had, like, a part-time NBA program I looked at a while back, but... They do, they have to Got a lot of different programs. Like, the part-time part one was like, you know, for a part-time NBA program, really well. Right, you but, feel up yeah. And I was already local, so. Travel one hundred. Kind of nice. But. You play your game, AJ. Always nice to see like a new player sit down and immediately become a part of the conversation. I think. I mean, it just. It bodes well for the table dynamic, the energy, and um, you know, just sort of everyone involved to you know, have the, the new player not just sort of sit down and immediately be kind of the proverbial stick in the mud. Put a, put a hoodie on and sunglasses and just be mute. Yeah. Or like, remember, God, who was it? We had, uh, I mean... I don't, know, I don't know really the name names or whatever. Just like dudes just like came in and just like immediately slow rolled somebody and was just being kind of a chode lord. Like, <laughs> we won't name names, but talking. yeah. 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 <laughs> but absolutely. Like it's like it just it was like the complete anti um, I don't know what the right word is, but just like the guy was just like trying to come in and be like, yeah, well, I just shat in your punch bowl. You know, I came to your party and I just shat in your punch bowl and y'all are going to fucking have to deal with it. Yeah, when did you get back? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, just, I much prefer the jovial attitude, sit down, strike up a conversation with your neighbor. Like, you know, yeah, we're having a good time. I got to about 10, 15, and I was just like, I'm done. Dave Mark says, please balance the complicator mics. Well, who, who's high and who's low? I'm Aaron, and that's Eric. Am I high? Drop a one if Eric is high. Drop a deuce in the chat. 
7.30 most days. Aaron only doing stuff and going to bed at like help us out. We always do appreciate the always. feedback. It was a trip, not a vacation. To, uh, yeah, it was a no, it vacation. Well, the situation. It was just like, we're just, like, we're just we not supposed to do, you know? Like, yeah. we're driving. Yeah. We're we're driving one for Eric. Yeah. Two for Aaron. That's me. Two and a quarter. Fantastic. Is that me? Yeah. That's absolutely like you. That's got to be you. Over my head or in his lap. Over my head or in my lap. Next one will be. You try not to do too, like, adventure back to the back. From. Yeah, so the flight back was starting to land. It took off there at like 10 30 around their time. And it landed back to Dallas at like 1 p.m., 1 30 our time. Oh, I felt a little bit of a I'm really low. Okay. I, I, well, I was such on their schedule that I was just like, well, a little bit. I don't know. It's about as close to my mouth as I can get it. Uh, it's not in my lap or over my head, but do appreciate that, Dave. Thank you for chiming in. Hopefully, I'm coming through at least relatively clear. I slept an hour or two. We do what we can around here. JT going to make the call. Robert slash Walker in the cutoff going to make it 100 to go. JD on the 7-6 suited. Let's go. RJ says that I'm definitely low. Okay, all right. We're getting multiple feedbacks here that I'm low or am I high? I'm going to get a little bit high. <laughs> Tim, I'm usually the loud one. I feel like I'm always the one uh, sort of blasting away. But uh, I am hearing you. I'm hearing you better now. So I, I think they uh, did a good job of letting us know there. So thank you. Awesome. All right, thanks guys. Uh, okay, we that that hands over. Robert now up solidly into Taco Bell territory. Z Fish stuck at least three trips to Taco Bell. Everyone else up or down a lot more than that. After Venom left us, JD is now the biggest winner. 6.3k in the green. Nick game back in effect. And I'm doing a little bit better now. Thank you so much, Dave Mark. Appreciate that. He gets high with a little help from his friends. Okay. I definitely do. Definitely do. Keep bringing it. Is it free? I'll do it. AJ here. A couple of Kang. Still low? Good lord. All right. Crank that bitch up a little bit more. It's all the way up to 11. How's that? Has this whole show gone by? Like, literally, I'm about to leave in 15 minutes, and everyone's been like, damn, I can't hear this guy. I'm glad somebody said it. It's like I've had a booger hanging out of my nose the entire show, and no one has told me until now. Thank you. Thank you. Which just means that the majority of the fans prefer not to listen to you. <laughs> just kidding. I know where you live. <laughs> no, we always... Uh, I welcome I the uh, constructive criticism and ways where we could get better so if something's like going wrong. So appreciate you uh, hitting that for us, Mark. I'm not. Dave, whichever. <laughs> Mark Dave. <laughs> Mark Dave. <laughs> we got another hour and a half, Matt. All right, we've had just about enough out of you, <laughs> Iowa Dave, Mark, Mark Dave. Don't you go saying you don't want to hear me talk because you're going to get it, okay? Okay. I'm going to keep talking. That's what I do around here. JT with a couple of eights. Make it 75 to go. Carlos is in there with a suited blackjack hand because why not? Keep him in. And he bricks the flop. Who would have guessed? Pocket eights. Effective second pair. Still best. Checks to Carlos, though. He's going to fire away with that god-awful nine-deuce. He does get the ace-jack to fold, which is quite the feat given that the ace of diamonds peels off on the turn. It's another bet here on the turn. Half pot, once again, 250. <laughs> JT now working with effective third pair. It is a little bit awkward, though. If Carlos can bet the flop, doesn't the ace scare him? As JT is the preflop aggressor, isn't he? Perhaps the ace jack was, but regardless... He is going to let it go, and Carlos is able to release the nip button with the nine high. Yeah, 
not so good today. He's on uh, one yeah. day. Now Shada says that I'm too loud. It's like echoing with the laughy face. Okay, all right. April Fools was yesterday. Okay. Okay. Or maybe, maybe RJ and Dave are living in an alternate universe where they can't hear anything. They've been to one too many. Smashing Pumpkins concerts. What a great name for a band, by the way. Smashing Absolutely. Pumpkins. How high do you think they were when they came up with that one? It's like very loud, high? though. So, yeah, Andrew now feels like it's got really loud. I'm turning my shit back down. You know what? Do it. These deaf mofos can just deal with it. That's what I'm saying. Shada, yeah, Shada, Andrew, these guys are like, no, now, now I'm blowing up eardrums. All right. I'm toning it down. I'm just going to whisper gently into the night as JT turns top pair to go with the Kings on four. JD looking at backdoor diamonds facing a check with only eight high. It's not too bad. That's what he will do. Tune at 500, and Jay releases the top pair? Are you kidding me? How do you fold an ace here ever? Especially against JD, but he does. During the Nick game, yeah. Hey guys, great channel, love the show. Thank you, Blitzen21. We love you and would appreciate it oh so much if you would subscribe to the channel, come back and hang out with us each and every Tuesday, as well as uh, pretty much every other night of the week. Uh, there's like Fridays and Sundays that we don't stream, but most of the time we are. So please do consider coming back and hanging out with us here on TCH Live. Yeah, Blitzen uh, coming in on the, uh, what is it? What's that app that he's coming in on with, with the K there? I always forget that one. <laughs> oh, is it Kick or what? Yeah, we got Twitch, know. we got YouTube, we got you Facebook, we've got X, and I think that's the Kick. <laughs> so welcome, Mr. Blitzen. Kick. All right, cool. Nice, nice, man. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the show. Happy to have you. Uh, King High board here. It's going to be a pair of sixes for Carlos and the pocket sevens for Scott still out in the lead. Checks to him on the button, bets it, and takes her down. And Shada says Walker is fine. Well, I'm sure uh, he will get that message and help build his ego a little bit. He is a good-looking young man. A seven deuce by the wayside here. John not going to play it. So I do think it's fair to say that the seven deuce game is not on, as you said earlier, just JD trying to power through and maybe exert a little bit of dominance had he been able to win with one of those. Again, right, yeah. going all the way back to like the first orbit when he had yeah. seven deuces spades, that would have been such a spicy it hand. It would have been such a monstrous flop. hand. Yeah, it would have. I mean, that was the hand that Carlos got stacked on, and yep. it would have been seven deuce of spades against East King on a king high board, right? Is that what it was? Or a it set was, on I mean, the was, something hit on the turn that was just nasty. Yeah, it was it was out of this world, but uh, it didn't end up coming to fruition. But Carlos still did get stacked, and as it stands, he has the ace of spades and a pair of nine. So, pair and a flush draw here. JT top pair in a flush draw of his own, going to check and call, and there it is, spade on the turn. The nizzles for Carlos. And JT with only 2,700 left behind. Check, check. What? Yeah, I like the check back. Let's see how big he goes here. Oh, he so takes small. The top for 400. Yeah, so small. I mean, he gets the value, let's be fair. He does get the call, so 400 extra dollars that he may not have gotten in some other alternate universe, but. 
So yeah, I mean, if he up, bets though, turn and river, JT calls turn and basically commits himself to the pot because he doesn't have that many chips behind. Jack of Spades is such a good card. Like, maybe he can find the fold on the river. Maybe. But if you bet turn and river, I don't know, man. I don't know. But, I mean, he still still wins a nice one. Every little bit helps as he That's right. still trying to build his way back up. And gets rid of that knit button, which is important, obviously. Yeah. I mean, certainly certainly an added factor here as uh, Robert Walker in the big line. Going to raise it up to 200 as it folds to him. JD. A $25 straddle. Queen 9, very much borderline. Decides to let it go, and John will do the defending with the Jack 7. <laughs> top air, top kicker here for Walker out of position, and, and these are the sort of spots where you bomb it. He goes 300 into 430. I like the full pot sized wager. Your opponent can have just a ton of like pair in a gut shot or flush draw, disconnected flush draw. Like, I, don't know, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm not even going to start speculating. But uh, the Jack Seven, Jack Seven hits floats them for 300. So apparently, he picked the right size. There's another heart though on the turn. Aces up. 1K in the middle, out of position with 4,500 stack to pot ratio, four and a half. I mean, I guess he could probably still bet. You just go small, 400, maybe 450. 1,200. Goes 12. That is not what I expected. He over bets the pot with top two pair here. The problem now is that you're just way ahead or way behind. And over betting the pot, I feel like, does the exact opposite of what you want to accomplish when you're way ahead or way behind. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong there. He wins the hand and gets rid of his nip button. So it's it is what it is. But I don't know. I always I always tend to uh, sort of overanalyze as well. So no, fair Not fair really enough. I, I think I did hear uh, Walker say something about how he wasn't real keen on the. The knit button idea, so may not be something he loves to do. So he just wanted to get this shit over with, you know. Um, uh, that makes a lot of sense then. Just right. Sort of, I think you've I think, got a strong hand, but like you're ready for this hand to be over. Like he's not trying to get value from somebody with just like gut shot and a flush draw, so he bombs it to get them to fold. Okay, that makes more sense. I think I put my contacts in today. Check. <laughs> 300. Top pair 10 kicker here for AJ. Far and away the best hand. Z fish with second pair. Top kicker though. Not going anywhere. Uh, we're going all over. Flew in, flew in uh, Paris. Uh, France, not Texas. Paris. And, uh, we, from there, we went to the Champagne region. A city called France. Uh, we went to Seafish gonna go ahead and bomb this after getting checked to on the turn. 900 into just about 1500. So this is two thirds size with second pair. A little bit unusual. I don't think this is recommended by the engine. Studied abroad and went to visit a few of those. AJ, of course, not going anywhere with the top pair. A lot of river cards that are going to suck for AJ's hand, this being one of them, the king of spades. But Zfish here has, yeah, he's turned a hand into a bluff that doesn't really need to. And you can see from the body language there that he's like, ah, why am I betting so big? Like, small bet, yes. Big bet, no. Small bet, yes. Big bet, no. There you go. So now the only player who's really up heaps now that... Venom has left is JD up six and a half K. Can always come back. So having a nice evening over there. Yeah, and it's kind of funny to look at the profit and loss here. You're like, all right, somebody's up six K, and then oh, a few players up just like a thousand, and then you see the guys at the bottom down ten K, down six K. You're like, where did all that money go? Well, Venom took it to the airport. <laughs> that money on Wherever a plane. He's going. 
They're having a good time. I think they were discussing, too, uh, AJ was talking about amounts of money he's taken after playing in a game if he's gone on a plane, you know, that, you know what, what you have to tell him at the airport if you're carrying that kind of cash on you. I have definitely never had 20-something K in my suitcase as I'm arriving at the airport. Yeah, well, you don't put it in your suitcase. You put it in your carry on. Of course. If I wasn't thinking, I would just like say, I mean, yeah, every you know, year uh, when I go to the WSOP so I think it's a um, of out in Vegas there, during the summertime, I mean, you're carrying some <laughs> significant cash. And, yeah, there's sort of this, like, um, I mean, it's not just like an urban legend or something. It's like, you know, if you have over $10,000 in cash on you, like, you become you become a bit of a target. And it's, it's a little bit horrifying and understandable at the same time right like there's the the sort of sick side of it which is like civil asset forfeiture where you can just like have your money taken from you because they're like why do you have all this money you could only have all this money on you if you were a criminal and then the flip side is like when you're going to and from las vegas you tend to be given a much wider berth when it comes to the amount of cash you have on your person. So flights to and from Las Vegas are very much reasonable uh, when you have a lot of money on your person. Uh, with that being said, we've got Mr. RJ Duprizzle joining us in the booth there in Dallas. What's up, my man? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? For as long as I could. I'm doing fantastic as we've I'm got a 9 yeah. 6 tray flop here. Top pair for Carlos, no good against the pocket 10s for Scott. A couple of overcards for AJ, but it's going to be a bet of 200 from Scott and a call from Carlos. So AJ is out of there. Another 6 on the turn. Not necessarily the scariest card ever, but. Like, Generally yeah, speaking, like, the yeah, really second card like on the board pairing is a little yeah. bit unsettling like if you're the guy so betting the flop. But I came back to he does bet again, like, 400. Carlos just oh. falls, and there it is on the end. Nine's full. And how does Carlos play this? Does he dare check or lead? And yeah. lead is the answer. I was just thinking we hadn't heard from Scott in a while. Wakes up with a really nice hand and just gets obliterated on the river. Throws the money at Carlos. Wow. Yeah, quickly making the call there. I understand the pocket tens are a very strong hand, but what on earth bluffs here? Seven, eight, I guess, is the only thing I can think of that could possibly get to the river and then be like, well, I probably don't win with eight high, so let me just donk lead for pot. The, so, uh, fair enough. He pair of threes. Eight. Pair of threes would have... Would have been one hand he beats there, but a six or nine you lose to, and I think that's why he just threw the money at Carlos because he knew he just was earning money. Right, you are. Well, that brings us to the 10 o'clock hour, which means that John H. has pocket jacks on the button, and it's time to raise to 150. It is also time for the AA run down in AA Austin. It's not a real thing. Just down in Austin to probably step out of the way and let Mr. Eric and RJ carry on for the remainder of the night. Z-Fish, though, is not going to let me leave. No, he's not, is he? <laughs> Three betting. 700 with the jack six off. He's in a mood. So there's a couple of players at the table that I think are sort of fair game to three bet um, rather aggressively. The three players with the lowest B pip uh, being those players. So Z Fish here basically just taking this as an opportunity to be like, all right, you're opening the button. You can have a very wide range, and I, never leave early. I don't really need anything to Maybe probably you get you to pull. You he picks up a gut go shot here on the turn, has the jack of diamonds. So, like, jack ten of diamonds, that's his hand. East jack of diamonds, that's his hand. He's going to continue betting 1,600 here. And John now with two overcards on board, he's going to have to fold. And Zfish with the knit game button, is going to be able to turn this hand over. And just absolutely yeah. devastate his opponent. That is devastating to get shown that hand right there. 
We've uh, we've seen uh, Z Fish a couple times tonight, Aaron, where he kind of set up a play like that, but he just didn't follow through with it. So that was nice to see him keep that pedal down and not let John see a river. You know, I saw Z Fish earlier today at Las Colinas, and he said, "I may make an appearance tonight, and if I do, keep an eye on me." All right. So apparently, that's what he was thinking about. I guess so. Nice. Well, definitely gonna have to keep an eye on him as uh, Bridge Mike. One of the two remaining players with a nip button, JT, the other player to his immediate left. They're both going to get involved here. 75 open and a call. I'm not going anywhere. I don't care what time it is and how much Taco Bell is calling my name because Carlos is three betting to 275, a tiny little squeeze that is not going to get these two nip button players out of there at all. Neither will it get John out of there with the Ducks. We're going four players to a flop. 11.40 in the middle. Who's winning this one? Battle of the Spades here. I like that flop if I'm Bridge Mike, I dare say. I like that flop. Absolutely. Oh. And I like that turn. <laughs> and you like the turn just a little bit? But Jay holding the king high spades. I know, you like the turn and you actually should hate it because Jay is far and away going to win this one. He's literally drawing against the six or jack of spades only. A two outer to the straight flush for Bridge Mike. But he's got to believe he's got the super nuts here. That's 475. Over to Jay who has not added on the entire evening. He's been sitting on this dusty stack Ever since he bought in for 5K and has dwindled down to 1,800, he's going to rip it in. Oh, wow. What a price. Carlos has the queen of spades. Eh, he's like, I got a gut shot. I got two overs. I got maybe a flush draw, but he's going he's gonna to fold his hand at John and be like, yeah, look at this. Bridge Mike snap calls. Needs to hit a straight flush. Doesn't do it. And JT... Doubling up to 47.40. Wow. Wow. Much needed. And insult to injury there. Take the knit button while you're at it. Take the knit button while you're at it, Bridge Mike. That is tough. Yeah, has to pay out the double up and another 800 to the remainder of the table for losing the knit game. Pretty nasty stuff. So Glad, glad you hung around for that one, Aaron. Hey, I'm glad I brought yeah. some fireworks for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with that, I'll bow out because R.J. Dupree brings the game. That was a pretty savage hand right there. And I'm glad we can hear Aaron now. <laughs> Dude, you and that other guy are deaf is pretty much what we established because you know, I'm, everyone I'm, else I'm was convinced. like, turn your shit down. I'm convinced they were using those Apple uh, ear, ear, uh, earphones they give you when you buy the new iPhone, you know, those little shitty headphones they yeah. give you with your phone. I had it going in the car, so I had it. I, w I was able to listen to it in the car, and I was like, man, Aaron's awful quiet. Truth comes out. Yeah. Okay, right. Anyways, I'm not going to be quiet anymore. I'm going to be silent is what there I'm going to be. Go because I'm out of here. Y'all have a good night. Thank you to everybody tuning in. We'll see you next week. I'll be here on Tuesday. Hope y'all have a great rest of the evening. Take care. Thanks, Aaron. Always fun. All right. Good night, buddy. Adios. Good night. All right. Well, we had a, a good time those first four hours. We're on the yeah. fifth, fifth and final hour. Hand number 125 now. We are just blowing through hands. I walk into pocket tens being no good on a nine high board. Jacks get smashed. And then we have flush over flush violence. Let's go. We still got an hour to go. Well, we got two pair and now an open ender on the turn uh, for Z Fish. JT with the two pair. Top two versus bottom pair and open ended. <laughs> Hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Absolutely. Coming through loud and clear. Either played soccer or there's big sports betters. Oh, yeah. Queen of clubs. Big old giant card, but creates no violence. Z Fish turning it up right here. Yeah, true. Get a bet some.
Couple back to back hands, another $3,800 pot going JT's way. Well, he's gone from 1800 to a regular old heap right there. Yeah, and I want to say he did get felted early on in the night. Wasn't just operating on that original stack, but uh, he definitely has not added on heaps like some of the players did uh, to get a bigger stack. There you go. He he's chose been, to grind it out a little been, bit. He's been grinding tonight. All right. And are you familiar? Have you seen uh, the player in seat two? Seat two. Walker is what we originally thought his name was, but then it said Robert. So it could be Robert Walker, but I heard him introduce himself as Walker to J.D. Robert Texas Walker. Absolutely. Haven't seen him around, but... Uh, I know he said he's local. Yeah, I feel like I've seen him a time or two, but not real familiar with the guy. So hopefully uh, we'll see what he's got tonight. He seems to be very comfortable there in the two seat, chit-chatting with JD. Hopefully he can splash around a little bit. We'll see what's up. Carlos with the old nutter gutter here. He'll call the 125. JT's going to continue his run good, though. He's... Got middle pair with the ace. Holding a whole bunch of equity here with middle pair, but it, as we know, that's always kind of a tough spot to figure out. Especially when John and Carlos are behind you and still in the pot. He's really good at that. He's like, you wear shoes, shirts. Yeah, we're all ready to hand 127. They're asking, is, is that high? That, that seems high to me. I think usually by the, by the end of the night, we get to about Somewhere in between 100 and 130, right? So that seems like we're cranking. Yeah, for a, for a game like this, um, it's probably a little higher than we're used to, but um, we had a lot of hands early on. We're just, you know, guys were just whiffing boards, C-bet, fold, C-bet, fold, a bunch of hands that went. Uh, so we had to get them warmed up a little bit tonight. For sure, just the, the hands and the flops weren't really cooperating a lot. Uh, tonight, who's early, guy, early on. Who's the guy wearing a Zach Wilson jersey? No, I was kidding. Zach oh. Wilson, you mean Aaron Rodgers? Oh, the other, the other Jets quarterback. Sorry, my bad. That would be Scott. Scott's been on our yes, stream several times. Yes, I know yeah. Scott. Had those couple of huge hands against Poker Mama when they were on the stream together. Yes. They made some TCH live streaming highlights. I remember. Absolutely. You know, lucky to lose it because. How's my volume, chat? We okay? You're good. By the way. Anybody play Baccarat? Aaron, uh, he gave me a good time when I was in the car for that. That was pretty hilarious. Big hand here. Ay, ay, ay. Between John H. and Scott. Two club draws. We're going to have hands here that think they have boatloads of equity. Yeah. John H. actually like trailing in equity to the two overs and the gut shot flush draw of Scott. Look at that. Bink. Math don't lie, folks. Equity is completely flopped here with Scott having 89% equity. <laughs> now John is just sick to his stomach because that is a huge portion of his stack. After a clear overcard, straight draws. Nice jam here. Like. Yeah, it really is. Scott is not one who's shy to put his chips in the stack or in the pot. <laughs> John doesn't want to mess with very it. That's an ugly card goal. on the turn. Ugly, ugly. <laughs> he knows that Scott, by that big jam, could have something like what he has. And if he does, indeed, then he's in deep doo-doo and he doesn't want to mess with it. Flipped the script on him, though, didn't he? Yeah, those are the kind of hands we've been uh, we've been waiting for. Got an hour left in the, in the stream. Still 200 of y'all watching. That is the kind of pain we want to see. That is painful. Nice fold right there by John, by the way. You know, you, a lot of players out there watching in the one, two streets, two, five streets, that's like automatic equity, let's go. But John knows he's likely to have a hand exactly like what he had and lets that one go. Battle of the red and black fives so far. Running low on fives. Hopefully 
See fish bumping it up. 69 of spades. It's 350 to go. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I bet one fives calls and the other one folds. But nope. Oh, baby. They're both going to see a flop. They're both going to call. And they both get the bad news. They are no longer holding the best pair. Z Fish doesn't know that he's holding Ace King maxed right here. 800. Might have one non believer. AJ Mike. You know, you're, you're bound to hit a pair in your hand. <laughs> he calls him out. You got a pair too? You're yeah. bound to hit a pair at some point. Is that cool? Five no. no, you didn't. I believe him. <laughs> the whole table says they had pocket fives. I believe AJ, and I believe Carlos. Got a room full of liars in the I think the rest of you guys are joshing around. That was the lovely Miss Stephanie bringing drinks up to the stage. Reminder, we do have complimentary beers here. It's also a BYOB club, so you can bring your own beer or liquor, and the ladies at the bar will pour you a drink and bring it to you at the table. Yeah, Manager Jay just mentioned that if you're a member of the club and you're wearing tennis shoes tonight, you're eligible for those. Only tennis shoes, though. Tennis shoes. There was a few guys with sandals wanting to question it, but they were good. They qualified. <laughs> if you are wearing zapatos, you get the beer, the cerveza. Indeed. JT is going to try on this turn to rep an ace. Carlos not going away. His ace four wants to see the river. Pretty friendly there with the nine of diamonds. He's going to give Jay the green light again if he wants to, but he's going to hit the brakes. Yeah, probably a good check there by Jay. Carlos uh, had the check call button on pretty strongly there. Look at that. We still have stacks of 16.6, uh, .6, JD at 15.8, Carlos right there around 12K. So, I mean, we've got the potential still for some 30 to 40K pots. Let's see if Mr. Johnny Rodriguez can deal some nastiness. Z Fish still holding 8K over there in the eight seat. He's been splashing around a little bit with some big opens and a couple of three bets here and there. Very mild this time, opening for 150. Back to his more standard civilized type of raising. Ace 3-5, two spades, pretty friendly flop here for Z-Fish. He'll flop the nut flush draw with that king four that he raised with. Easy to continue there. Small continuation bet of 225. Carlos staring at that board, trying to make something out of. They don't really match, so he'll let it go. Yeah, those are not black diamonds. Those are spades and a club. I'm digging uh, Rich Mike rocking the sunglasses. Oh. He didn't have them on earlier, but now he's got them on. And he just seems like the kind of guy that would drive <laughs> like a convertible. Dude, Rich Mike looks stingray. fantastic right now. He's got to keep those. That like looks a, like awesome. Like a convertible Stingray or, uh, oh, I'm trying to think, one of those Cobras. Yeah, yeah. I can see Mike just rolling down the road, hair in the breeze, mm -hmm. sunglasses on listen to some Simon and Garfunkel or something, you know. I've never seen a player in our stream look more Hollywood than Bridge Mike right Bridge now. Bridge Mike's got it rocking right now. Normally he just rocks the Alabama hat, but tonight he's got the hair going, he's got the sunglasses, looking sharp, Mike. Indeed.
Walker's going to raise it up with a pair of sevens. He gets a lot of company here. Let's go to a flop four ways. 500 in the pot. Three, eight, nine. We've got some pairs out there. Scott, AJ, Walker. Ace going to slow things down. Absolutely. That's going to be an action killer. Nobody really wanting to represent unless, Hit the it, young Walker. Buck, unless the young buck does. Power of position. Nobody likes that ace. Let's see what's out there. They're all believers. He takes him down a little one. Well played. I am a big fan, Matt, of Freddy's. Absolutely. I like Andy's as well. Digging the uh, frozen custard options. Yeah, and the steak burger is always a good choice as well. When you can get steak burgers and the frozen custard, it's a pretty good lunch. Absolutely. Being from Texas, grew up on the Dairy Queen, the Brahms, and of course Baskin Robbins. But yeah, frozen custard has kind of come along and come on strong. Uh, definitely digging, digging that. Yeah, Freddy's does a good job. I got an Andy's frozen custard uh, right near me in the, the, the colony. Yeah, I haven't been Castle to Andy's yet. I need to make area. that one happen. Pretty damn good. Fast service. Young guys that are working there and gals, and they're always uh, quick and uh, good with the orders. Hospitality, a little hustle. Friendly, like they're something ready to like, roll. like they've actually yeah. been coached. Love it. Yeah, I saw those big old courts in the corner, Matt. I was wondering who was buying that stuff. That's you. Nice. If I bought a quart of that stuff, it would be in my freezer like forever. I, I'm, I'm the world's worst about taking it home and actually eating it. You're smiling a lot, Mike. I'm the opposite. If I bring home leftovers, it's, it's gone. a goner. It's gone within that a day. Boy. It's gone within a day. There we go. We got, we got a little suited ace nine in the cutoff. Carlos, he'll hang around on the button with suited ten eight. Scott. Actually, I don't think I've seen you. I've got a The Jets going to bump it up with Cowboys. And Z Fish did not hesitate to put his money in with the suited ace deuce. He'll see it. It's 600 to go now. We got the three bet from the Kings. Scott, we will go four ways to this flop. This happened to Scott earlier. Scott had aces and got called by four opponents. So this is an improvement for him, only getting called by three. Now we're only four ways total. This is Texas heads Texas up. Texas heads up. Of course that ace comes out. 600 is best. And Z-Fish immediately leading out. I like this mood Z-Fish is in tonight. He's getting after it. John with a snap call and... Kings knows they are no good. This could be an interesting hand. These two have been eyeballing each other a little bit. A this, rinky dink of a turn. A lot of, well, no, there's not any chop opportunities, is there? This is a uh, catch a deuce. Seven or five will Seven chop, or that five is... for a chop. Yeah. Deuce for a win, seven or five for a chop. Otherwise, you're getting wamboozled. Yeah, it's going to be tough for John to fold now. Z-Fish could have had some power without that turn, but oh, five yeah. rinky thing. Yeah. Chizzy chop chop. Everyone does not love a chopped pot, ladies he'll, and gentlemen. He'll bet 47 billion and get the insta call. John is grossed out. Chop <laughs> chop. He smacks, the, <laughs> he smacks the ace nine. I thought I was trapping like a motherfucker. <laughs> he was, I was, ready for he was trapping like Martha Fokker from <laughs> Meet the Fockers. She's a trapper. She's a trapper. Way to go, Gaylord Fokker. Ay, ay, ay. Don't tell Johnny I called him Gaylord. Nice hand, nice hand. Were you jamming the river regardless? <laughs> I did a little college baseball back in the day. We had a guy named Faulkner on the team. So anytime anybody dropped an F-bomb, I'd be like, yeah, uh, Faulkner's down there in the bullpen. Yeah. You know, try to bail him out a little bit. 
but like RJ, you're a moron. That's not going to work. Well, that's why I said we know we know. Uh, John H. said Martha Fogger. He was talking about the movie. I'm convinced I kept three guys from getting kicked out. So sick. So sick. What a stupid What a stupid river indeed. But you know what? He feels a lot better about the five ball than he would have if the deuce, if, if the sky dropped a deuce on him. That, if that bird flew over and dropped that deuce on that river. Five beats the heck out of a deuce. Absolutely. Peel one next time. Peel one maybe next time. Uh, sometimes I'll mention that to people when I'm having to deal over in the streets of LC or whatever. I'll be like, would you like to redo it and give him a chance at that deuce? Exactly. I know you hate that chop, but yeah. would you like would you like one more card? Yeah. Just play, play, Scott, play better next time. Yeah. And Scott's over there going, well, I had kings, you jackasses, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You guys both hit an ace twice. You guys just trucked my kings. No big deal. Oh, how about trip eights? Rich Mike feeling good here. Looking good, feeling good. Can't tell if it's an eight or a nine. Our graphics are throwing us a curveball here. Well, JD doesn't want to mess with it. Looked like an eight from the overhead. Yeah, I thought it was too. It must have, must have been an eight. JD insta-folded. Bridge Mike, a.k.a. Captain Cool Breeze there, takes down another pot. I'm telling you, I hope I look that cool when I'm his age. Best looking dude at the table. I mean, he's only 10 years older than me, right? And Zach Wilson's here. Aaron Rodgers, damn it. Oh, sorry. It was like first hit, and you're like, oh, let's get this game started. Yeah. Similar quarterback with the blown Achilles, though. <laughs> yeah. Same level. He's still talking about that river. Yeah, I don't think Scott ever let him know that they just blasted his kings there. So. Just like Harry told Lloyd on that scooter, just let it go, man. Let it go. He, he just mucked let the it kings go. like a gangster. No problem. Can I take a walk? You get a water? Water. Three clears. Thank you. Nice. A spade sighting. Open ender. JD definitely open ended. Let's see what we got on this flop. Scott's going to bet the button here with his gutter ball. I guess it could have been like a deuce two spades out there. Hey, did you hear John just now? See? Could have been a deuce. <laughs> Look at that. Very Four optimistic. Yeah. yeah, we do have two spades on this flop. No, I don't need the nine. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need it. That's and it looks like it's a three, nine, five, not a seven. Anything above nine, we split. Anything above nine. Five of spades, I take no, it. No, no. It paired on. Oh, that's right. No. It was only the eight that yeah. I put up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that yeah, will definitely give JD oh, enough equity to check yeah. raise here. It's funny on this right He's felt a little weakness. With his flush draw and gut shot. Don't let that seven hearts fool you. That is actually the five of spades. Yeah, three, five, nine, two spades there. JD. Definitely a big difference for JD's hand. Still had a, still had a gut shot, but also had the spades there. So bets it hard, takes it down. Hey, we're getting better at catching these curveballs. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll knock them out of the park. I say that here in a minute. We'll have one just throw us for two loops. Yeah, I can never complain about a hand when you do a The one to Ben and Willie Perkins. That was terrible. We also had the fastest dealer in the West dealing the first hour and a half, Mr. J. Nick. So that might have something to do with our hands. J. Nick can sling them. He can sling them. Sling them with the best. And then okay. Micah came on and Johnny came on and they've been doing a great job as well. That's a crew right there. That's that's a varsity lineup. Absolutely. Three players. Three, four, ten, rainbow. Three. A little nutter gutter wheel draw for AJ. Not quite nutter gutter, but similar. Hmm. See, Fish has top pair. He knows to, he knows what to do with top pair on the button, folks. Bump it up. So if my hand's good, I'm about to find out. Carlos gonna stare at the board again and wonder, 
could he change the cards? I love it. Can I win? No. AJ will make the call here. Just ace high, searching for a deuce. King of diamonds on the turn. Carlos would have hit a would have hit a diamond draw. Yeah, Johnny is definitely no slouch. Ah, Zephus checks the king. Might possibly leave the door open for AJ here. Will Z Fish have the check call button on even after checking that turn? Check. Check, check. <laughs> He's going to make him show AJ his ace high. on his best behavior. Check, check. Z Fish takes it down. <laughs> That's how you utilize top pair on the flop. Yeah, 1300 in profit gets, there. With he gets 2300 in that pot now. Second pair. Nice hand there, Z Fish. Indeed. How much? 15. No, it's off. I can't make it a little bit more. Because that was my number. No. 22. 22 was the... The cutoff? The cutoff. Well, if the dude shit the river, you would have to pay 1500 Exactly. All the way till 22. That's because that's what I was betting on. Heck yeah. I'll make sure, Matt, that uh, I let him know. Johnny is a good one, and uh, there's a reason why he's dealing this stream here. We don't, just, uh, we don't just allow any old slouch. Yeah, Johnny's great. He's ranked 12th in my chart, so yeah, that's pretty good. Who <laughs> King 8 Jack. JT landing the best of it, but Zfish likes his open ender. He's going to bet it. Let me have it one time, man. Heads up. And bingo, bango. No problem. That's a tricky looking card there, too, because. To the eye, it could look like a gut shot. You don't really see that 9-10 hanging out there with a whole bunch of outs. Got to kind of look twice. Thank you so much. JT drawn to only a chop now. Needs one of the three remaining 10s. Yeah, he did, Matt. Uh, Johnny did great on the stream. I made sure I let him know, too. He was, he was fun to watch. He was locked in last week. And just a reminder, this is a table full of dudes, and we've had nothing but dude dealers, but we have lots of great female staff that are great dealers, our floor staff, our waitresses, our hostesses, and, of course, players. we got ladies' night on Thursday nights now at TCH Dallas. Ladies, come on out. Thursday nights, 5 p.m. to midnight. You buy two hours. You get two hours for free, only the ladies, and complimentary wine for all club guests that night to go with all the other complimentary uh, beer and sodas, coffees that we have. Come on out, ladies' night on Thursdays. We had a great one uh, this uh, Thursday. Great time. I've been able to make it out to a couple of them. They have, the girls will turn it up now. Right. They, they have a good time. They were having a good time. I'm hoping that same group comes out, maybe invite some more ladies out. Yeah, yeah. That, that thing's going to grow. Yeah, they're, Heck yeah. They will get after it. And it's, you know, it's a social environment, so we welcome, you know, people from all yeah, walks of life. And it's and, important uh, to note that uh, the ladies will have a 1-1 one -one game, by the way, where some people can come in and actually do some learning on poker where they're not sure. intimidated. And uh, they'll play a one one hundred dollar max game uh, where some of the ladies can come in uh, and actually learn a little bit about poker if they're interested. They don't have to just jump into the one two five hundred dollar buy in games and uh, all, all of them. All the above has been working very well for the ladies on Thursday night. Very disciplined fold there for Zfish. He had the pair of fours, which was bottom pair, with an ace kicker. Front door diamonds got there. The board paired. He decided to pick a better spot as Jay was sitting there salivating with three sixes. Easy to take advantage of that opportunity. Three sixes work. Get JD out of there. One fifty is out of that. 
I don't know Scott that well. He may pick on me for calling that the uh, Zach Wilson jersey when I do meet him. Not once, but twice. <laughs> it's sweet jersey, though. I love it. Fun hand here. Bridge Mike picking up the two kings. Key boys. Raising it up. See if AJ wants to go small or go big here with ace queen. Projects? He's definitely going to put in a three bet. Three bet to. Yeah, no, but like short term, you just like, what is that? No, 650 like now. 650. Pretty, yeah. pretty hefty three bet. We can see a pot here. Mike says, uh, I'm going to get inside of that Cobra Rip with, my, City. with my shades on. And we're going cruising on the highway. We're all in. Rip City for Bridge Mike. AJ has had three spots just like this tonight, AJ. Uh, two, you know, this is the third. The two before you came on were raised pretty big. This is the smaller sizing of his big three bets where he can potentially get away, <laughs> get away. from this hand. But Earlier it was like 1,200 and 2,000. Well, he had ace queen versus queens. Hit the ace on the flop. Case queen hits for JT on the turn. Yeah. So he decides this time, you know what, this is a little too pricey. I only lost 650 bucks. Yeah. Rich Mike's jamming in for 3,800 on me. I'm gonna let this one go, which was a wise decision. Um, his his uh, three and four bets earlier were just too big. Yeah. Uh, stack, this time stack to pot ratio. This time left himself plenty of wiggle room and didn't have to mess with. Plenty of wiggle room. Yeah, good job. Good job, both players. No reason to uh, you know, lose another 3,800 there with just the ace queen off. <laughs> Suited variety, though. He may have, he may have thought a little longer, but. <laughs> that extra 2% didn't exist yeah. there. He's going to let it go. Got to get that extra point in there. Rich Mike's feeling confident. He's going to try to see another one here with the 10-9 of spades. Z Fish, only 125 with the ace jack. Call from Mike, call from JT. A lot of fun hands here. AJ's going to complete as well. As will Scott with the old 9-6 or the 6-9-er. Six players, that's Texas. Heads up. <laughs> Ooh, big heart flop. It had my high school graduation like yeah. That was the box. Oh, sorry. AJ will check so Scott can now bet. We have a couple of players holding the nine, and we have one player holding two hearts. JT could stick around here. Not, nah, he doesn't want to mess with it. Bridge Mike folded his top pair quicker than a snicker. He said, I'm out of here. The suited canooter was fun, but no thanks. They were used and played with. That opens the door for Scott. Yeah, Scott's liking that turn card too. It gives him a gut shot to go with top pair. And he's going to hit. Three, four, five. I was nervous for Scott with that four runner coming out there. See if John wants to try to take this one down by putting in a chunky bed here. Unfortunately, we didn't see the cards. We know that's not going to work. A lot of times that four-liner, you almost feel like it's a penalty if you don't try, but it is sitting behind you. Yeah, 1,700. <laughs> and all in. And Scott wasting no time, just smash. Look, look at the look. <laughs> I... Nice yeah, John can't call. Yeah, uh, usually when you hear the pop pop of the cards on the uh, on the felt. Yeah, I think six seven Time was fold. Six seven was folded too. I'm telling you, I'm kids. learning from you guys. Than shit, there we go. Scott got a little bit going now. Happy to have something to stack. Yeah, Scott, the uh, proof there, his biggest losses tonight were with aces and kings. His biggest win, uh, one of his biggest wins right there with the old six niner. Right, so true. We've all been in that boat. Catch a rough night of aces and kings, it is no fun. Walker's coming in hot with the king ten of diamonds, raising it to 150. 
Sea fish with another fun suited hand. True heads up here. Z fish landing a little bit of it. Gutter and top pair on his best behavior now. Checks the flop. Small bet on the turn. Two overs, he says, why not? Swing and a miss. Gets the big old over card to come out, but it's not one that he's holding. It's only 640 in the pot. Uh, don't see a bluff working here. Yeah, even if, you're going to want to throw about 400 out there and give it a shot. But it's probably getting called. Let's see. 450. And a call. Quick call. Nice hand there for Z Fish. That's why I didn't want to call him. That's what he says. Queens. Show that 25% of the female population are seek psychological treatment or are undergoing psychological treatment. 25% of the female population. Where do these stats come from? Yeah, no, right. it's, it's not funny. That means 75% of them are not receiving treatment. <laughs> What did he say? I think he said 75% of them aren't treatable. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to hear that conversation. I was definitely intrigued. I was too. Let's see, what do we got for a hand here? 100 bucks to go. A few people playing it. Three bet from AJ, suited ace five in the small blind. I don't know about you, but I like to take my uh, women advice from a bunch of dudes at a poker table. Yeah, for sure. That's always a for sure. sure way for a win. Speaking of psychological advice, we could all we could sell some pretty quickly in the poker room. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it's kind of nice in it. I'm saying. Any of the five. You know, yeah. six, nine, We're all nuts. That's how we got here. There's a good look at our players' stacks. Definitely still plenty of chips here to get in a hot mess here with the last oh, 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. Jay was a little late to put that $50 straddle on, but they went ahead and let him do it. Anybody got an easel and a marker? He's got the seven deuce. We have not had the seven deuce game going, but JD's tried it a couple times. Okay. Well, mad props to JD for sneaking it in there and giving it a go. We need, we need some more. Yeah, he dodged a monster bullet earlier with, I think, a flop that was seven king deuce, and uh, he would have obviously flopped two pair and his opponent drilled the turn had he still been in the hand. Oh, he was able yeah? to, he was able to get away after a, a four bet pre. But man, it would have been nasty, nasty early on. First orbit too. Ace, queen, jack, five. Nobody here holding the clubs. So the biggest ace is ace eight. Some random pairs out there as well, but we still got the seven deuce in the field, but it it went away, sadly. AJ up to something here. Bridge Mike is chopping with almost any ace. Yeah, tough to bet that chop card when they have an ace. You gotta really pump it to make it go through. Don't see how you could ever fold here. Just a couple of hands that beat you. Yeah. 450, not enough to pump it. He'll get the call from Bridge Mike. Bridge Mike takes it down. Cool breeze. Strikes again. Wow, AJ's up. Wow. I've never seen this guy. Though. I know. I know. It's been a while. I know. I know. What happened? 
He thought he had a streak. That was very rare. I misread. Misread. Yeah, misread. Uh, misread. 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 That's why I called. Turn straight. I threw an answer. Oh, you called Misread. Walker's stack is showing to be exactly $5,000, meaning he has not lost a dollar or gained a dollar. Now, which, which side of Taco Bell is that? That's the free taco night, I guess. You get to pay for your own Taco Bell, yeah. but everything's still cool. Might be off by a couple bucks there, but either way. We got a pair on the button. He's still looking to get involved in some action. Yeah, he's ready to splash around a little bit for sure. We don't come into the chat and then end up in the game for nothing. Did I see 6-9 versus a set of 8s? Yes, I did. Hello. What a flop. Let's go. John H. has flopped the straight. Scott on the button with a pair of 8s has flopped top set. Let's see. Scott likes to make it huge, but let's see if he slow plays this. AJ going to splash around and raises with his A7. That's a middle pair. He won't be in this hand long. Yeah, Scott's going to slow play his top set. See what comes to fruition on the turn. But AJ is the one who's going to raise here. John is mulling over his options. If he rips it here, it will be instant call from Scott. John has almost 4,000 behind here. So, kind of an interesting spot here for his stack. It's tough to raise for value here. He's going to try it. And it's going to work, kind of, sort of. But we got a straight versus top set. Let's go. One time ripping it. Real poker, now that JV stuff. Oh, it pairs twos. Running deuces. Yeah, I mean, don't slow roll me. Come on. I know what you have. Yeah. Running deuces. Top boat good for Scott. He'll take down a nice little pot there. 8,800 in that. He's a one-time guy, not running it twice. So they ran it once, and it goes running deuces. Golly, what a flop. I mean, John H. couldn't get his money in fast enough. I mean, he's like, I got the uber nut. Sure. Got a backdoor heart draw just for shits and giggles. And this guy backdoors duck, duck. Wow, what a hand. The sweat that comes with flopping the nut straight <laughs> is always very interesting. And Scott's just throwing Redbird chips over to the dealer, saying thank, thank you, you for bailing thank you. me. Thank, thank you, for, you for bailing me out there. Duck, duck, deuce, deuce. Coming home right on time. Wow, what a gross, gross run out. We've all been there, though. Top set fills up against the straight. Nice pot for Scott. You love to flop the nuts, but you really like to hold the nuts at the river. See Fish on the button with Ace King. He's got a real one. Barker's got a real one, though. That's a lot of people's favorite hand there. A the 10 9 people. suited. Fours. Pocket fours for JD. He'll stick around. That's like. Two people I know, that's their favorite hand. They're kind of psychos. <coughs> that's a pretty good flop for Ace King. Isn't that what always flops when you have Ace King? <laughs> you no. Know. Queen, Jack, 10, two clubs on the flop. Seafish raised it up with the button and has flopped the nuts, and he will see if he can get some customers. They're coming. Sorry, brother. Walker here has flopped bottom pair and open ended on the on the grunt side. He'll stick around. Got seventeen hundred in this pot. It's cooked up three hearts on the turn. Well, there will be no runner runner full houses for Walker here. No pain, no change. I pay people. Uh -oh. If they slow, I'm going to give them 100. That's, the, that's like it. And so everyone does it to everyone. Well, they really like 
I'm listening to that conversation of slow rolling. Z Fish bets that turn, goes ahead and takes it down. Yeah, Scott, in a few hands, has definitely turned his hand over a little slower. But uh, I don't think he's a. Yeah, that one. That, that one there wouldn't have qualified as. Slow not as not as a nasty slow roll like rub it in your face slow roll. I think he almost felt guilty because he knew what he had just done. You know. Yeah, we all go through those like instantaneous emotions where sometimes it takes a second, right? Yep. I mean, it's, it's a little bit natural. I think sometimes ever who come up with the term slow roll is just kind of a baby at some point. You know, I mean, I get it. You don't, you don't want to actually be slow rolled, but a lot of times, so many times, there's accusations of a slow roll when it wasn't necessarily true. And uh, <laughs> or telling the player you're good. Yeah. Having the player think they're good, and then you're like, just kidding. I have. Yeah. Now that would yeah. be slow roll bad That's news material. King, Queen, Jack, two hearts. Check. Two pair for Carlos. Got some pocket pairs, nines and sevens. I always say this game's got enough real problems to worry about. You don't have to make up problems and be like, oh, I'm so mad this guy. Imaginary slow rolling. Right. You don't want to do that. Don't create more stress. <laughs> He's a Jets fan. I think he wears uh, some Mets gear, too. So tough, tough sledding to be a Jets and Jets and Mets. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thought maybe it was just an Aaron Rodgers thing, but I realize he has been uh, rocking the Mets gear before. So, little New York, New Jersey love. Where's your picante sauce made? New York City. Get a rope. <laughs> Look at that. We had six players in the green earlier. Of course, one of them left, being Benham. But now we only have three players. Benham. Who are currently profitable in this game. He probably just now sat down at the gate, turned on the God, stream, to check in with us. Scott Kings again. AJ raises it up with his suited ace, early position. Scott's going to have Kings in the low jack here. He'll bump it up three bet for 600. What do you call those with the two decks? How much? So now there's a bit of a discussion going on here, if we could hear it. Psychology of mental warfare there. What a flop. Let's go. Action towards the end of the night. This is what we want. Top set again for Scott. This time he's up against nut flush draw of AJ. All in. He literally just jammed it for eleven thousand, twelve thousand dollars. Check all in into a pot of thirteen hundred. The monster jam. Let's go. What is happening here? AJ has the like one of three hands here that has to think about it. Well, AJ knows he's a one-time guy, so he's like, you know what? If I hit, I get all of that. How much? Cheddar? AJ's got thirteen k. AJ's looking over there just, how much cheddar is this worth here? Four, five, AJ, do you want to gamble? Eight, you know, he might nine, think his ace is live, but we can see his ace is not live. He has got to right. hit a heart. I'm not. I have a hand. I have a hand. Okay. Just, I need a minute. We can see. He shows him his hand. <laughs> and now AJ, unfortunately, AJ gets to see for free now he knows that, that one of his hearts is gone. It's not live. And yeah, now he can't call. Scott is holding the king of hearts. <laughs> yeah, he said, you let me off the hook. Aye, Let's see. It went 10. Okay. The board paired queens, so. Wow. Let's see how many hands that we have left here. Goodness gracious. Yeah, just a few more hands here. AJ just mentioned the same thing you mentioned that yeah. I, know, I know that you run it once, and then you show me that top set with a heart. I don't want top to set it. with a heart. I can't hit an ace, and there's only a few hearts left. Wow. So we got about four hands left, so let's see if we can see some more We're carnage. 150 hands in tonight. We, oh, 150 hands. We almost had a 26k pot right there. 
but unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers exposed himself a la Brett Favre when he was with the Jets. Yeah, it must be a Jets thing. Must be a Jets quarterback thing. Just don't wear your watch with your name on it when you're exposing hey, yourself. We still got action here. Carlos is three bet to 550 with Ace King. Z Fish is still in there with six three as fades. And Bridge Mike has pocket eights. Let's go. JT has two letters. What does he do? He'll make the call as well. Well, and he slow rolls every time. Yeah, it's like. I just felt like there was some bad juju out there. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting fucking busted. Yeah, 693. Kind of meh. Play that so passive, you could have stole it from me. Let's see what we've got. Two pair for Z Fish. That's not meh at all. That's a pretty good start. 63. How about you come on? Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, Rich Mike, you, you, easy I mean, fold for him. Like, like, just throwing yeah, away the pocket yeah, eights. Like, One over card. He says, oh, the kid flopped two pair. I'm out. Yeah, so he's just Rich Mike, yeah, you're too good, out. buddy. Wow. It's like, this is like reverse tilt. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's reverse tilt. Yeah, yeah. He, he saved you money. He said you literally just saved me thirteen thousand dollars because yeah. I was about to call you. Yeah, and as you can see, uh, does AJ have that covered? I think he does. Yeah. You know what else is what other hands though is he really doing that with you know um obviously he showed it to him yeah it's ace king at the it's, minimum it's, right it's queen yeah. I mean, like, king x yeah. you know whatever two hearts you know it was raised big pre-flop three bed what else what other hands he doing yeah. that with besides a set see my cards no i didn't here we go another battle Ace King so, and a couple yeah, of pairs. So, sometimes when you get in those hands where it looks like it's Ace King minimum and better or nothing, you know, or else, and you don't believe it, like ah, come on, man, you got to believe it. Like it's it's that. <laughs> yeah. Who's putting thirteen thousand into yeah. into a thirteen hundred dollar pot? I mean, we've all learned that lesson after making those calls like sixty three times. Oh yeah. Ah, we're still going here. AJ, Ace King, sevens and eight. Club, so club, good. club. So sick. Too, too good for TV. Anybody have a club? John H. was John holding the H. only club, and it's a deuce. So he won't put a lot of value into that. AJ gonna... 350. AJ gonna smash the like button with a bet of 350. John's going, why can't my other card be a clubby? AJ's going to take that one down. Another reminder here about the tournament coming up starting next week, or eight days from now, actually. It's Wednesday, almost here. Yeah, Wednesday, April 10th, 16 different events, over a million in guarantees, including the main event that is a $500,000 guaranteed prize pool in Houston. So if you guys are tournament players, the 10th through the 22nd of this month, go on down to Houston, call the club down there, see about maybe some discounted rates at nearby hotels. That is the location off Westheimer in Houston proper. Yeah, let's go win some cheese. Yeah, good luck to all. Suited queen four, suited five four. Suited ace deuce. Nine. Suited oh, queen oh, deuce. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm done. Okay, no, I'm not. Suited king nine. Texas, hold, Texas uh, heads <laughs> up. Let's go. Just pick, six to this Pick flop. a hand, any hand. I'm going with JT. King nine. Okay. Nice, nice selection. I went with the queen four. <laughs> you, you went with, uh, is the king nine even out King nine folded. King nine folded. I lost already. Well, I, well, my uh, JT. I flopped I the best of it. That's that's <laughs> chapter two of my book right there. My nuts are in the muck. What the hell just happened? Walker with the open ender and the flush draw just jams all in for 4K. Barely stuck a chip in a pot yet, yes. and we're on the second to last hand, and he's just he's ripping like, it. He's like, hey, I haven't got to play yet. Let's go. I love it. Uh, the JT who I selected uh, cannot... And they're going to do a flip. Show so Walker. before we do that, one more reminder. If you've watched this and thought to yourself, I can take these guys down, get me on this stream, 
This is how you get on the stream. You contact the lovely Miss Mallory. Tell them how you do it, RJ. That's right. Contact Mallory or scan the barcode right there on the screen. 405-403-7731. Hit up Mallory. Get on the live stream if you think you can hang. Chat, uh, stack some of these guys' chips. Absolutely. And that's for the Dallas stream only. Uh, the other streams that are in Austin, Houston, and the Rio Grande Valley, go to TexasCardHouse.com. Click on that page. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, I know there's a TCH Live link, and you can fill out a forum to get on some of the other streams if you're in those areas. Right. Lots of streams going on. TCH Live is growing. Please join us, grow with, grow with us, and uh, jump on some of these streams. Get this thing rocking. Yeah, and this is going to be our last hand. They're going to do a PLO flip. PLO flip. RJ Dupree, Eric Van Lusen here in Dallas. Thank Man. you guys again for joining us. Let's see who takes down. We got this, some hearts coming out. This last pot. What are we looking for? A four five? We got four five four straight. We got three hearts on the board, though. So we will be looking for flush. I see a flush in seat six. Eight four is the variety. AJ uh, with a flush. Z fish got some red cards. I can't see what they are. I think Z fish had a, a little jack ten piece yep. of hearts. Z fish did have the red that works. Well, we got a new player there. Walker joined us there towards the end. Yeah, uh, thanks for coming in, Walker. Yeah, had a fun stream. Benham uh, leaving us the big winner tonight. But thank you guys again for joining us. We will see y'all uh, Saturday for our big one tournament, and then of course next Tuesday for our Tuesday night live stream again. I'll be here. See you guys. Peace.